I'm sure that I'm going to kiss. Thank you. So fascinating. Ahoy, shipmates! Another absolutely fantastic day here in the port of Southampton. Now you can see that all sorts on the screen at the moment. We've got some ribs bouncing around, uh, the Red Funnel Ferry, and that is SS Shield Hall right in front of us. Have a quick look on Netley Cow. It's quite a large boat down there. It's the Netley Cliff Sailing Club. Looks a bit like a Fairline Targa 38 would be my guess on that one. All sorts going on the water today. We are waiting for a ship to depart. Oh, yeah, surprise, surprise. The Celebrity Silhouette was supposed to depart at four o'clock. Alas, Celebrity Silhouette is here in port stationary. Handbrake on in park. I'm guessing she might be moving, but we haven't heard anything on the radio yet and no sign of anything. So I'd have to wait. Rather annoying. Thank you. 
See what's going on around on the other cameras. Look on Netley Cam. Does that suspiciously looks? Is that the lifeboat chappy there? Looks a bit like the lifeboat chappy. Hopefully it's no problem. Uh, they haven't got their helmets on, so I'm guessing not too much of an emergency. It's quite close to shore there. I'm guessing that might be a jet-powered lifeboat. That would make sense, wouldn't it? This is on the Netley Cliff Sailing Club. You can see he's quite close to shore there. I came in the other day on our rib, and that's about as close as I could get safely. Though I suspect our rib was quite a lot less draft than this one, because obviously we're not wasn't a very big rib. I think he's just come in for a little nose around. In fact, I have the sneaking suspicion that is the Hamble lifeboat. Many years of deductive reasoning leads me to that conclusion. Absolutely nothing to do. Nothing to do with the name written on the stern and on the on the port side either. Anyway, that's going on there. Well, let's see, we are waiting for Celebrity Silhouette to depart at four. Then at five o'clock with the MSC Virtuosa. Again, she is actually in the same place as uh, Celebrity Silhouette, just up here in port. So the Celebrity MSC Virtuosa is here, and the Celebrity Silhouette is here. Here last night, the anthem of the seas did a little spin here in the middle swing ground. So, what MSC Virtuos was going to do, I don't know. She might go all the way backwards and spin, or she might go up to the uh, top. I'm not sure. I can never, never make, I can never decide which way they're going to go. They just seem to have their own, own ideas. So, the lifeboat chappy is making a move. River Hamble is just down here to the left a bit, and. They have a lifeboat as well as Cowshot has a lifeboat. I think those are the nearest ones. There isn't actually any lifeboats further up in port, so often the Hamble lifeboat and the Cowshot lifeboat will deal with anything that's in port. Uh, then at uh, uh, 6.30, we have the Aventura. And again, she's also up in the other end of port. She's in fact here. She, I'm sure she'll go to the upper swing ground here. And she's currently bunkering, so Wittonia. There you go. She's. She's alongside. She'll be alongside refueling. Then at seven o'clock we have Iona. Let me just check actually vague suspicion that change the time may have changed. Let's just check on that one. Iona is no it's still seven o'clock. Venture six thirty. And then we do have another one actually nearby, and that's the Hamburg. She's off at Cows. Oh, I can't see her currently, but we may see her briefly. I think she's uh, due to depart at seven thirty. I haven't put on the list because I didn't quite know when she was going. And uh, there's Iona. And uh, she's departing on a lovely sunny day here. What's happened? It feels a little cooler than it has done the last couple of days. And there certainly is a lovely fresh breeze. There's a decent sized powerboat. It's unusual to see a powerboat moored up here at the Netley Cliff Sailing Club. So I'm pretty sure that's a Fairline Targa 38 be my suspicions Let's see if I can get it all closer certainly a fair line targa um, could be 
be could be a different size. Could be a forty. Depends if it's got a tender garage. If it's got a tender garage on the back, it might be one of the bigger ones. Oh, maybe he's going there to Maybe this powerboat is in the distress. Well, actually, it doesn't have the anchor down. It must be. It must have a line round the swing mooring just to the stern there. I think I'm going to go with 38. Uh, somewhere out about there is Shield Hall. She's buzzing around as well. She is the. She's the steamship that's in the area taking people around. And I think one of our shipmates is actually on board. Let's see if we can find Shield Hall. Where is she? Not this way? No, not this way. Must be down the other way. Like I say, I'm still waiting for MSC Virtue. I haven't heard anything on the radio yet, so it's rather annoying. Let's have a look. Where is... What is that over there? I think that's uh, Shield Hall. There she is. It's a, a lovely restored 1950s or 60s vessel, all shiny brass. Excellent group of volunteers keep her running and she explores the Solent and the Southampton waters, takes people on sight sign trips, and that's probably what she's doing today. So let's have a little check back on the map, shall we? Let's see if there's anything going on with the celebrity silhouette. Still stationary. Hum, hum, hum. So, Liberty Silhouette, still stationary. And oh, we haven't heard anything on the radio. This is rather, rather disturbing. This guy now, of course, she's, because she's at the other end of the port, I'm going to be late following her as well. There's quite a delay. Decent amount of traffic on the water today. I suspect there might be. Look at that, all these powerboats out there whizzing around. Sailboats with their sails up because it's actually a decent breeze out there which is really lovely i mean these are one of the few ideal sailing conditions of the year looks like we got some kayakers out here as well that's always a great way to get on the water if you can Yeah, there's obviously some problem there with that powerboat. Lifeboat are along to assist. Maybe there's a mechanical problem or... Frankly, I wouldn't want to keep my powerboat there. Not a good location. Not very deep. Ah, I don't have the chat up. I, I'm assuming that someone's listening to me. I'm not just prattling for myself here. Oh, uh, I've lost it. Where did I put it? There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, hoist your mates. Oh, blimey. They're all in there. Um, let's have a look. I've got to rewind slightly. Oh, we're there, Tizzy C. And, uh... Oh, there, Gaming Infinity. There's SS Shield all in the background. Oh, that was quite a while ago. Oh, there, Richard Holland. Oh, we're there, Ellie Burley. And, oh, there, Reading Lad. We've got excellent spanners in at the moment. That's the Tim Ellis and Kevin, too. I think all the rest of our spanners are out enjoying the lovely weather. And ahoy, shipmate A0918226772. It's not the easiest. Oh, here we go. Once again, uh, we have engines and specials ready, so we'll be on the move in 
I hope you heard that. Celebrity silhouette on the move in 10 minutes. So that's not too bad. She'll take about 15 minutes to get down her way. To, uh, I think she's, I donh, do I remember if she's facing the right way. Uh, she's facing the right way, so I guess 10, 15 minutes. So probably on the screen about, uh, that's 10, fuck, it's 10 plus 15, it's 25. Getting on towards five o'clock. And at five o'clock, we are supposed to have the departure of MSC Virtuoso that's just behind her. So, well, they'll keep her, they'll keep us on our toes later, won't it? All right, back to the chat. Oh, hi there, Daniel San. I'd say you've got Tim Ellis and uh, Kevin Two, oh, oh, excellent spanners. Hi there, Tonka Bean. Oh, hi there, Mark Green. Uh, Ellie Murley's asking, was 7pm the original time that Iona was due to leave? Um, I don't know. What time have I got? What time have I got on my list? Seven o'clock. Yeah, she's been pretty good at leaving on time lately. I think now they've uh, taken away all of the uh, COVID restrictions. She's been much more reliable. Oi there, Steph P. Uh, it's just lifeboat. Yes, it's lifeboat. Hope everyone's okay. I think everyone's okay. I would think it's more of a mechanical issue by the looks of it. I'm guessing it's the she's murdered, um, moored up with the swing mooring there. So I don't sure I'd want to be that close to water in a boat that large. Probably a draft of about one point one meters. So similar to those sailing boats, probably not quite as much. So the sailing boats are okay there. Well, I guess it works, but even so, I wouldn't want to be bouncing around on a swing mooring. Oh, there, Reading lad says Iona was late into Southampton this morning. I was on Iona. She's a beautiful ship, once been. Oh, excellent ship, mate. I hope you had a great trip, uh, Reading lad shipmates. Uh, let us know. Kevin Two's posted a link to the SS Shield Hall. She was on the screen earlier. Oh, there, vendor. Virtual, she's going to go to the upper, upper swing ground. So she's the wet, who've just heard she's read it in. She's going to be departing very shortly. And then the MSC. MSC Virtue has read it in and said she's going to just check on traffic before she starts the engine. And then she's going to go to the upper swing ground up here. Spin round, then go out. So she'll be a bit of a delay before we get her. And she's due to depart at five, and about so uh, quarter two will be celebrity silhouette. And then six six thirty we'll have Ventura. And seven o'clock Iona. Uh, 
absolutely wonderful weather out this morning. A oh, morning, this afternoon, I should say. I did see a question from Ellie Murray. She says, uh, does anyone know what happened to all the grass on South Sea Common? I saw a video uh, the other day, and it looks brown. I'd imagine it's like a lot of the grass I've been seeing around the place. Oh, until recently, we, uh, it was pretty good. All the grass was green everywhere, but so the last week, it's all gone brown due to the lack of rain and lots of sun. Kevin Two says that the uh, celebrity silhouette's lifting her air bridge and is on the move in 10 minutes. So that's the old gank plank to follow. Hoi there, Christine Nicholson says, I can hear you. Oh, good. Just checking I wasn't talking to myself. Sometimes I forget to look. And sometimes I do talk to myself. with the Michelle Roberts says that she is off on Iona next Saturday well that'll be good shipmate if you are off on Iona next Saturday I hope you can give us a wave I would probably recommend uh, a number of locations but I'm thinking what's quite popular on Iona a good place to get a wave in if you have the chance I'll try to leave the camera on the the bow before I, I do a departure, yeah, do a last start of the live stream. So, if you come up here to the promenade deck at the bow, come around there, and give us a wave. That'll be wonderful. We like a waver. We had a waver earlier on SS Shield Hall. That was, uh, I think it's Roberts. Was it Roberts on SS Shield Hall? He was on Roberts. He was on Shield Hall the other day, so he's a frequent Shield Hall visitor. And he gave us a wave from the stern. Oh, there, Jenny Sullivan says that her sister is on a celebrity silhouette waiting to depart. Yes, she is. Oh, there, Steve Mack. Late as usual, I see. Getting dangerously close to a short spell in the brig there, I think, shipmate. I think it's a bit faint, but I can hear the horns of Celebrity Silhouette. I can confirm she is on the move. Yes, ever so slightly. Be seeing her shortly. Then the MSC Virtuos are going up to the upper swing ground. All this traffic is like the M25 out there on the Southampton Water today. So the service silhouette departing slightly late. Emma, as far as I know, everyone else is going to be on time. And then we have the ship hamburgers over in the Isle of Wight and departing at, I think, 7.30. And we can't actually see the Hamburg. She thinks she's just off to the left. And look at all those yachts over on the Isle of Wight there. Isn't that fantastic? There's definitely a good breeze coming up south up to water, or sorry, around the Solent. Around the other whites, keeping everyone hustling along nicely. It looks like a little race there. Seems a lot of small yachts the same. Oh, yes, just ever so slowly inching out from the dockside. It's a celebrity silhouette. And she's on her way to looks to me like Norway if I can read that correctly Kristin's month I'd actually I'm assuming she's on a Norwegian tour everyone seems to be on Norwegian tours these days Scandinavian tours yeah I'm gonna oh looks like 
Oh, with there, Michelle Roberts. She has become a member. Excellent. Thank you, mate. Thanks for joining the cruise ship, mate. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on board. And we'll see you waving on Iona next week, I believe. I've remembered that you're the person travelling on Iona next week. I was suggesting you go to the bow. I'm not sure what the problem is here. Could be engine problems, electrical issues. Looks like the tide might be slightly turning. She must be tied on to the boy there, the swing mooring, which is unusual to tie on the stern. Uh, but thinking about it, because she's not designed uh, to use this mooring, then they would have sensibly tied around the stern, because that's easier than trying to tie from the bow if you don't have the swing mooring made for your particular boat. I mean, what, I mean, what a fantastic day. I mean, look at the picture there. Absolutely pin sharp, blue skies, bright white ship with a fantastic Union Jack on the front. And frankly, lovely warm breeze out on the water. I mean, this really is a wonderful day. As you can see over, like I say, over on Cowles, you can just see the number of yachts out there. That... Uh, looks to me like a yacht race i can see uh you can see a little boat right at the bottom of the screen there with a flag on it it normally indicates the race marshal and could well be the start straight start finish line or something i imagine that's what's going on over there a bit of a break up on the picture over on cow's cow i have to uh have words with that one later celebrity sweats just a little bit further away from the side there. waiting for numbers for celebrity silhouettes he's off on a seven night cruise to the norwegian fjords so that seems to be the destination of choice at the moment everyone seems to be going to the fjords and everyone says that uh, i've been on the channel and they've come off of a fjordian fjordian a fjordian trip if that makes sense I don't know. All, everyone seems to have enjoyed it can't quite work out what's going on here though. Uh, lots of gesticulation with hand movements. Oh, Ventura. Ventura is. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. I couldn't hear Ventura. Yes, sir, will be from so Ventura was up here at the at the top, confirming an 1830 departure. So that's good, and we're getting somewhere at last. We're just having a bit of a awesome, bit of a delay at the moment. Oh, it looks like the Hamble lifeboat is off. So perhaps there's no immediate problem. I mean, the the vessel is safe, assuming she's not sinking. She's on the swing mooring, so she's not going to go anywhere if she's lost power. And, and uh, he could be waiting for Sea Start. There's a there's an organisation locally called Sea Start, which are oh wow that's shifting. Look at that. And he's certainly nipping down south of the water race knots, isn't he? So 
don't think I'm going to keep up without the camera. Oh, maybe. Let's have a go, shall we? We're all waiting for Celebrity Silhouette. No, lost it. Yeah, as I was saying, there is a service called There is a service called Sea Start, which is like the AA for the water. There's a chap in a bright yellow rib, and he's available. You just call him up, and you tell him you've broken down, and he'll he'll try to fix the problem, or he'll just tow you into the nearest convenient location or port or marina, or just find a swing swinging mooring to attach you to, or whatever. So the handball lifeboat's still a whizzing and buzzing around here. I'm still not entirely sure what's going on. Celebrity Silhouette's still moving. There. So we have the celebrity sweats at Pierre. She's probably just picking up speed now. So she's doing uh, yeah, 1.7 knots. She'll be a bit faster. The MC Virtuoso, she's going to leave, depart slightly early. So she's. Oh, here we go. Oh, still counting. Like the Conservative Party leadership election, still counting those half a dozen votes. Now the MSC Virtuoso. It's going to go to the upper swing ground. And I think Ventura will as well. It looks like the lifeboat has picked up a swing mooring now as well. Maybe it's just time for a cup of tea and a rest. No point. Dashing around, I'll sit there and wait for something to happen. Should get our first sight. Uh, there is a ship horn out there, but I think it's way too faint today. Wind must be fairly strong, it's blowing it, blowing the sounds away. Have a look at that wind direction. Oh. Handy dandy flags here on top of Iona. Let's see which way is the wind blowing. Well, that's not very decisive, is it? Sort of. I'm guessing it's coming from the southwest and the superstructure of the ship is blocking it. Oh, so it's There's like quite a lot of people sunning themselves. Channel. 
There's a fair number of people sunning themselves on the top decks of Iona. A few people out in their balconies. Yeah. I mean, who could blame you on a day like today? Had some pretty miserable weather coming up to the last couple of weeks, so let's make a change. I wonder if we get any waivers today on the Iona. If you are on Iona and you fancy a, a bit of a zoom in, to give us a wave, let me know, and I'll see if I can hunt you down. What's happening with the lifeboat at Netley? I don't think there's much of a disaster going on there. No, I think they're just, just waiting. You can see there it's pulling reasonably strongly, so the tide. Tide and wind conditions are pushing against the Hamble lifeboat and the fair line in the background there, forcing them up towards the port. We should have Celebrity Silhouette on the screen shortly. It's just coming past the here head this is past town key marina here uh, this is iona she'll be on the screen ever so shortly she's a late four o'clock departure then followed by msc virtuoso oh, it's having an early five o'clock departure and then currently ventura is still departing at 6 30 and then we have iona at seven and also at 7 30 i haven't put the list because i'm not sure we could see her we have the cruise ship hamburg over on the Cow's Triangle, she's due to depart at 7. Oh, I forgot to put the chat back up again. <laughs> oh, Captain, why are you playing it? Right, where are we? There is some chat here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Right. Oi, the Ellie Murray says... Uh... Oh, oi, there, shipmate. Rainham Rail Enthusiast. Oh, work aboard, shipmate. Glad you subscribed to the channel. Uh, pleasure to have you on board. You are, are enjoying the content of a lifeboat that's not going anywhere. Please do think about subscribing to the channel. And we'll bring you more of this to come. We are just waiting on Celebrity Silhouette. Waiting for celebrity silhouette, she will be on screen ever so shortly. Uh, Walker, I mean, yes, uh, 2230, so 2230 at the moment, Foxtrot. BTS, Red Osprey, surely parting roll here, Red Osprey, just say good afternoon to you, celebrity silhouette, just clear your station, that's on clear channel. And there we go, if you heard that the Soviet Silhouette's just gone past the Red Jet. It's based in Town Key. I fact, look, why didn't I show you? What am I said talking about it? Why didn't I show you? No, the oh, Red Jet is here. It's the Red Jet terminal, so that's Red Jet 7 and Red Jet 4. Red Jet 7 is the one I think that's just about to depart. And this is the Celebrity Silhouette. She's just passing, so he's going to probably have to nip up the inside, put his foot down, or maybe he'll go around... Probably go around this side by the time he's manoeuvred and got round. Celebrity Silhouette would have moved on a bit. And uh, we've got. I don't know if she started moving yet, but the. Let's have a look up here. Vigilant BTS, good afternoon, do so. Yes, the MSC Ventu uh, Virtuosa said that she was going to depart early, and she has. She's on her way to the upper swing ground, which is up here. I imagine Ventura is going to do the same. So she'll be on. Uh, Vigilant BTS. Sorry, sir. Can you say your last message again, please? She'll be on screen shortly. That's all, all happening at all at once. Uh, vigilant, just that is received. There is no reporting traffic. Um, 
outbound to the west. Right, busy down here at the Netley Cliff Sailing Club with the Hamble lifeboat. Red parking would happen to so celebrity accelerate passing the ocean dock outbound. And, uh, MSC virtues uh, away from one or two, we'll use the upper scene gun first. He's talking about the upper swing ground. That's the upper swing ground up there. We could have a look down at uh, Netley Cliff Sandy Club to see if that power boat has AIS. BTS Red Jet 7, good afternoon. Receiving town key for cows. Red Jet 7, BTS, good afternoon. Outbound traffic, celebrity silhouette south of the ocean dock. No. All copies, so thank you. See the shadow creeping in there. Of celebrity silhouette looming large from the right hand side. So she's off on a seven night field cruise. Anyone knows the captain well, they'll know the captain's partial to Blue Hull. Thickly nice day. Oh, just in the background there, you can see a yacht going through the lock into the Hythe Marina. Looks to me like we've got plenty of shipmates on the top deck. Oh, yes, very busy. Let's have a look up there, shall we? like we had some people waving or were they just scratching their heads that's unclear i think at this point they could well be waving to either people on town keep here or sometimes they wave to people on iona she's just right opposite them right on their port side is what i should say that's more nautic nautically correct than just opposite but i think you get the drift Anyone on their balconies? Oh, yeah, there's a few people on their balconies. In fact, you can see the reflection of one of the row rows in the balcony windows there. Oh, yeah, it's quite a few on their balconies. Could do with a few more waivers, though, couldn't we? Of course, show on the waving front today. Maybe we'll have more luck at the stern. Nope. Quite busy at the stern, though. Lots of people there. I'm assuming there's a bar somewhere there. Dispensing cooling rum-based cocktails on this quite frankly sweltering day here in the Port of Southampton. Forecast for Monday, Tuesday next week is somewhere in the low 30s. In fact, parts of the country are going to be in what's described as a heat emergency. I'm sure if that's something to do with having not enough ice cream. Not enough ice in your cocktail, perhaps. Beaches. Celebrity silhouette casting a strong silhouette down here on Southampton Water. There you can see she is home ported in Valletta. It's quite interesting what's on the, on the stern here. Quite a number of apertures for ropes and lines. So there's the red jet going past. So he's gone round the outside. It also looks like they've got some CCTV cameras, radar, all sorts. 
This stern design, I'm led to believe, with a sort of shelf around the back, sort of almost like a DA type aspect. I think that's uh, it's led. To, I'm led to believe it's something to do with fuel economy. It, well, maybe not at these speeds, but once she's up, uh, perhaps nearer the 20, 22 knots operating speed, it's to uh, increase his fuel economy. So I'm led to believe. MSC Virtuoso heading up to the upper swing ground. And we'll be able to follow her out also. But she's a little while before she's on the screen. Hopefully this evening the captain won't forget cow's cam. I was neglected cow's cam a few times yesterday. MSC Virtuoso is uh, one of the one of the larger ships in ports, I guess. You know, total of uh, two thousand, almost two thousand nine hundred passengers, fifteen hundred crew. So certainly not the smaller ones, not as big as Iona or Anthem of the Seas that we had in yesterday. Her uh, maiden voyage was in July twenty eleven, so she's about almost exactly eleven years old. I was trying to find earlier there's a that lifeboat that's assisting the I think what looks like a fair line uh, that uh, didn't have its AIS on so I could confirm that I can only find I can only see the lifeboat on the AIS Hoi there, Phil Wheeler says he's just back from a week on the owner. Fantastic time, even though we missed one port due to bad weather. And now on a diet due to much food and grog. Sounds like the ship weights, shipmate Phil Wheeler. Okay, Boogie, yes, uh, receive red jet six approaching uh, Sounds like shipmate Phil Wheeler rather hit the buffet too hard. Well, that's the right thing to do, though. Just keep off the food. Do some grog for a while. And, uh... Biggers, Two six three five passengers on Celebrity Wet. That makes uh, almost almost full. And eleven hundred something crew. There we go. Eleven thirty crew. Thank you, Kevin. Two. He's got the information. And two six three five passengers. Maximum passengers are two thousand eight hundred eighty six. Only a f only a few short. Uh, some of the ships we've had out going out of port lately seem to be really empty, uh, and others seem very full. I'm not entirely sure why this is. I'm sure if they're deliberately running them slightly lighter than usual, or people just aren't travelling. I don't know. Certainly very shiny out there on the water in the port of Southampton. Go back to Iona. Oh, there we've got some people waving. I'm not sure they're waving to us. Oh, maybe they are. This is where I would recommend to stand if you're on Iona. If you fancy giving us a wave, come up here to the bow. That's the pointy end. Give us a little wave. There we go. Quite a good view there, isn't it? Uh, also, I've noticed on the front of Iona is that you can see the ship's bell. 
There we go, just the left hand side of the screen, that little brassy object. We should see very shortly uh, celebrity silhouettes come, coming out from behind Diana. And some topless men. Topless. Yesterday we had a bit of a heath fire. This is the first time I think I've seen a heath fire on on the channel. I was down at Wall's Ash. Don't think there were any problems with that in the end. Oh, there's Sheila Stewart from Canada. like Steve Mack is enjoying iced cocktails in the shade. So I'm very envious shipmates. I could do with a few of those. It's starting to get a little warm in my cabin. Oh, hoy there, shipmate Fluffy Bunny. Oh, welcome to the cruise ship, mate. Many thanks for becoming a member. Your support is greatly appreciated. Head on down to the mess and grab yourself uh, a mug of grog on the way. Not quite as windy as yesterday, but certainly I can see Netley Cam wobbling around still a little. This Netley Cam is due to be levelled and reinforced. Waiting for, for the cameras to go up at the same time, I believe. And also now clearly visible on a cruise cam. It was like the view of the bow of Iona with the PO house flag on the top of the bow there. Uh, I'm entirely sure about that emblem. I think the emblem is the. Oh, I don't know. I should look it up before I tell you what it is. I think I did know what the emblem on the front was, and now I've, now I've forgotten. Certainly Netley Cliff Sailing Club is starting to have a lot more boats out on the swing moorings. It's that time of year. People are getting in the water. I see there's another couple of little sailing boats. That looks like we've got some chap on a rib following celebrity silhouette down the water. So that's like I was doing the other day. Uh, due to the kind donations of the all my Patreons and PayPal donors and members of the channel, I bought myself a, a new little camera that hopefully might make live streaming from the boat easier. I was going to give it a go today, but uh, things got called off. Bit of a shame, but I might give it a go tomorrow. So if you do subscribe and hit that notification bell when I get up some antics on the water, you will be notified. Me like another fair line target there at the bottom of the screen. Southampton VTS, Iona, Channel 12. Iona VTS, good afternoon, Juma. VTS, Iona, good afternoon. Just confirming our departure time is 1900 this evening. Iona BTS, uh, receive map is yes, uh, 1900. It's telling time. I will board you from the shore side uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes before your uh, sailing time. BTS Iona, pilot aboard 20 to 30 minutes. Well, thank you very much. That was the officer on Iona giving us so a check up on departure time. Just, uh, BTS, 
somewhere as well we've got MSC Virtuosa I think she's just having a little pirouette at the upper swing ground there's the red funnels there blasting past MSC Virtuosa that's up here at the upper swing ground she's just turning around so she'll be on her way down towards us shortly. Oh, we there, shipmate Timothy Fiaco. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Glad you could join us. Welcome on board. Got a couple of the red funnels here about to pass. South to water. And the celebrity silhouette going down. Oh, no. Need to follow the celebrity silhouette. Good, good start to get a better view now on that decam. I... I mean, as much as I love these sunny days, it's in because the the ships are leaving quite early, so six, seven, eight o'clock time. Don't get the sunsets, which we would do if it were a little later in the year or earlier in the year. We have some much much better lighting conditions with some wonderful sunsets. And we have had some brilliant sunsets lately. Well, it looks like we're going to have a head-on-head -head collision here between the two ferries. Plenty of sailing boats over there on the Southampton, on the Solent. That's I think we have a look on Cow's Cam. Oh, they've all gone. There was an awful lot out there earlier. I think there was a yacht race going on because they all looked very similar size, and there was a control boat down here at the front. That's gone. Okay, that's that's over. Or oh, they've gone round a bit further around the island, of course. And we're just watching Celebrity Silhouette depart at the moment. She's on her way down Southampton Water. This is the slightly late four o'clock departure. Oh, gosh, that one there with the green and white cells. It must be a Pacers. Those sweets from the 80s. Remember those? So we've got Celebrity Silhouette, slightly late. MSC Virtuosa is in the upper swing ground, just here on her way down and out. She's on the move, she's early. At uh, 6.30 we've got Ventura, and then at 7 o'clock we have Iona. Oh, there's Sheila Stewart, says awesome images. The colours are stunning. They certainly are, shipmates. It's just a very colourful day today. One advantage with a bright, sunny day. She do get some great colours. Uh, unfortunately, you also get a lot of shade and reflections off the water. So, you know, speaking of roundabouts, but so, yeah, it is wonderful out there today. Phil Wheeler, I think Phil Wheeler's just come back off phone. It says a bit of a rough sea, all part of the fun. Absolutely, shipmate. Builds the appetite as well. JK saying Brian times two. The double Brian has been proving fairly popular. For the longest time I had the captain had no idea why people were calling the ferries Brian and then someone said I asked someone they said well it's Brian Ferry fairly obvious I guess what are we there PSL 1268 many thanks for subscribing shipmates and welcome aboard Have a quick look at. Oh, hi there, Banwell. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Got the 
these celebrity silhouettes. It's just being overtaken by one of the red funnel ferries. I suspect she's probably doing somewhere in the region of. Out of bounds, Vita, sir. Good afternoon to you. We're doing somewhere in the region of 10 knots. Actually, no, 7.9 knots. Oh, a bit slower. Yeah. Red funnel ferries tend to do 12 to 13 knots. Out of bounds, Vita, that's uh, received, sir. And inbound traffic, the uh, ferry design boarding her pilot next uh, 15 minutes west of the tower. There is no reporting inbound traffic, but nothing expected from the A little while before we see MSC Virtuoso, probably let's have a look at the map. It's going to be somewhere in the region I would think of about 20 minutes, then she'll be on the screen. Then at seven, we have Piano Iona looking absolutely perfect in this. Perfect blue sky. I mean, there's not a cloud there, is there? Yeah, I think Phil Wheeler said he's been uh, on Iona's come back from the fields, so it's very good. Yeah, so everyone seems to uh, say quite a lot. Oh, we there. Andre Corde Coupe. VTS, Red Falcon, good evening. Approach the hard one. Can you come on at speed? Red Falcon, we just get you the uh, permission to proceed. MSA Virtual, sir. Pointing the right way now, passing one of us. Yes, sir, we got her visual. Thank you. New subscriber. I'm oh, sorry, I've forgotten your name already. Um, welcome aboard, shipmate. Thanks for subscribing. Steve Max reminded me that, uh, don't forget, Joan Jett and Barry White. Oh, yes, I've forgotten those. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, yes, a lot of you know, jokes here. Captain may need to explain. So we have the Red Jets. They are the smaller ones. We saw one earlier blasting along. So occasionally we call them Jones. Uh, it's then... Of course, it. Cars, VTS, good afternoon to you, sir. Traffic from Southampton, large uh, passenger vessels, Liberty, Silhouette, approaching SL1. Cleared. And of course, you've got the occasional White Link ferry that sneaks in under the radar. And uh, can we call those Barry's? Reminds me of the crossroads back in the days when they had Bennies. I remember hearing or reading about the Falklands conflict on the Falkland Islands. The SAS used to call the locals Bennies from the chap Benny in Crossroads, who was, how do we say this? Jenny Blue VTS received thank yous. Rather delicately, yeah, he was a little simple, and he, uh, he was called, his name was Benny, so the Aucklanders uh, equally are not exactly the brightest sparks, or they don't sound that way, so the SAS used to call them Bennies, and the locals got wind of this and they didn't like it very much. So after that, a missive went out and told all of the all the SAS not to call them Bennies anymore. So he's called them NBs, not Bennies. Any of BTS receives uh, one degree or the inbound uh, Britain, there's no further inbound traffic. Ahoy there, Elizabeth Leeborn says that she'll be on Iona next Saturday. Just wondering where the best place to give you a wave. If the weather is good, uh, I'll wear a bright pink t-shirt. Fantastic shipment. Well, let me show you. Best place to uh, give us a wave. I will, before um, I start the live stream, or if I, if I remember before she departs, I, if I'm not doing a live stream. Ahoy there, Becky, Tony, Louise C. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Glad you could make it along with all your names. So on the at the pointy end of Iona, so if you're on Iona next week and you you fancy giving us a wave, which we all appreciate, we good love a good wave. Uh, on the pointy end of Iona, up at the front, they call that the bow. They call it I call it the pointy end. 
I will tend to often leave the camera sort of round about here. So there you go. You can see a couple of shipmates walking around there. So yeah, if you can, if you have a phone and you can just check it on your phone, check that it's there and just come along there and give us a wave. It will be fairly obvious and we will see you. It tends to be where I leave it. You tend to get a good flow of people going past there. And I've seen quite a few people waving in the past. And the where is the MSC Virtuosa? Oh, she's down, getting close to Mayflower Park on her way down. We'll see her when she's here, which is the uh, lower swing ground. Uh, probably about 10 minutes or so. We'll keep an eye out for that. See if there's any waivers. No, just people having a little stroll on the prom deck, building up an appetite. Not getting too much sun or sunburn because you know, don't want to spoil you. Spoil anything for if we hit the buffet. That's the uh, celebrity silhouette just on the way down to Southampton Water. That's per usual in when they're about here, they're right behind the crane. Oh, you can see Shield Hall. Just the right of the screens there, shipmate. That's the steamship shield hall. One of our shipmates, Richard, he's on there having a jolly good day. I'm not sure where she's going today. I think it might just be a little Solent cruise is what they call it. So if you fancy coming into the Port of Southampton one day and want to do a bit of ship spotting, if you can coordinate it with a trip on shield hall, I can wholly recommend it. So run by volunteers. They're all very keen, very knowledgeable. Um, but careful what you say, otherwise the next thing you know they'll be handing you a duster and you'll be polishing the brasses in the engine room. And of course you may like that. But... Oh, there's all those yachts in that yacht race. I can see them now. So there we go. Hopefully that's answered your question there, Elizabeth Leborn. You can see where you need to be to wave to us with your pink t-shirt on. Oh, there, David Mottram says he's on Ventura, just waiting to sail away. So happy to be back on board. Oh, well, very good shipmate. Sounds like your first cruise in a while. So the Ventura is due away at 6.30 and then Iona at 7. MSC Virtuosa is ahead of schedule and still so it's behind schedule, but not really counts because she's already sailing. Oh, there, Jennifer L. Ask what she missed. No, didn't miss much. We had a, a little bit of an incident earlier on the lifeboat. So I'm not quite sure what was going on. That yes, was. MSC Virtuosa, Pier Head Boy Albert. MSC Virtuosa, sir, good afternoon. Do you receive uh, Thank you. And the MSC Virtuosa is on the Pier Head out, so it won't be long before she's on our screen. David Mottram's off. I'm not quite sure where he's off, actually, on his cruise. In fact, I'm not sure where the MSC Virtuosa is off to either. I think she's off to France, I heard. Uh, I think I may have heard it said. But I'll check on that later when she comes past. Oh, there, Phil Wheeler says that he's parked in the Pink Triangle car park next to the Ocean Terminal. Very reasonable for a week. Yes, it is. I've heard that's a popular destination for parkers. Oh, we're there. Okie Koki. Mike wants Okie Koki wants a shout out. Just recommend the channel to his family. We just subscribed. We're sailing on Iona in September. Well, likewise, shipmates. I was talking to one of the earlier shipmates. Just don't forget to go up to the bow and give us a wave. And uh, we'll see if we can zoom in on you. Right, Osprey Media receives a cars engaged at any of this month or two. Oh, there, Mr. Mikey Do. He's uh, suggesting there's lots of boy racers out and about. Slight nautical pun there. BTS red jet six. Tongue in the cockpit. Red jet six BTS outbound traffic. The MSC Veritrosa approaching your uh, station. And uh, the celebrity silhouette is passing at number five. Clear. Ciao. 
I'll copy, thank you. And oi, oi there, Michael Ladbrook suggests it's a wonderful evening and beautiful weather for cruising. Can't wait for his next year. Oh, I would say so, shipmate. It's not often you leave the port of Southampton in conditions somewhat reminiscent of the Caribbean, is it? Mid mid twenties, warm breeze, sun. It's fantastic. Elizabeth Lee Bourne, she's out on Iona next week. I think she says that uh, hope we can get certain ships on my phone. If not, I'll try and get on upper deck by the PO side. Excellent shipmates will keep a lookout for you next week. Those tend to be the two locations I will zoom in somewhere near the PN, somewhere near the sign of the, of the ship, the name of the ship's often towards the top, and somewhere near the bow if they're if they're docked at Ocean Terminal there. So yeah, excellent locations, shipmate. You are definitely going to be invisible. And uh, oh, Kevin Two's just informed me that the SS Shield is on a solid cruise, so watching the four cruise ships depart. So there you go. See, I did wonder. Uh, shield hold is yeah. Hoi there, Linda West's asking how Captain is and how is Rusty? Well, Rusty's you know, definitely the haircut in this weather. It's like he walks around in a... He walks around like wearing a fleece. Oh, someone says that says Shield Hall's on Cow's Cap. Oh, thanks, shipmate. I've just misread your message there. She's guess Shield Hall cruising around the Solent. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not on my. I actually, I, I can hang on. I can do something Red about this. Gravy, yes. If I've got my, I've got my other thing here somewhere. There we go. I'm ready now. I've got, I've got my uh, thing. Hold front line now. Well, the intention is to come back more than the other green side. Just need a bit, a bit of a. Just doing a bit of uh, housekeeping, I suppose you call it here. So that I can see what's going on. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Now we can now we're now we're cooking. Right, uh, where did I get to? Oh, oh gosh, over here. I'm a bit distracted. Been distracted. Let me see Virtuos has popped up on our screens. What were they playing at? So the captain's easily distracted with shiny things and buttons. And software oh fantastic image up there on the large screen i'm wondering if that is in fact an image of the port of southampton because that's exactly what it looks like at the moment could be couldn't it palm trees blue water they should be showing of course solent ships youtube channel but no one seems to be doing that uh, Few people up on deck. Not sure we've had numbers for the MSC Virtuosa. She's off on a 14 night European, North European cruise. Yay, we've got a waiver. There's a chap there enthusiastically, enthusiastically waving his cap. Oh, you never know, maybe he's in the chat. He's looking down at his phone, hopefully, and saying, It's me. That is correct, sir. 
I mean, there is quite a delay. So whenever you do these things, you think yourself nothing's happening. And then by the time you look at your phone and see yourself, uh, you've stopped doing it. So it's quite amusing. It's very enthusiastic. Oh, I like that top bit of waving. A little red hat. Yeah, there we go. Shield all good afternoon, chicken favourite. You will proceed now to the west. That's uh, received, thank you. Well, she's off on a northern European tour. Red Osprey, Red Osprey. Me. Calling at uh, Cadiz, I think I heard, was the first port of call. Compared to some of the other ships we've had in the uh, yes, uh, the shield hall south south bramble boy will now proceed to the west. There's a whole sort of array of water slides and things on the top there. Look down at the stern, see what's going on there. Bar area is looking quite busy. Maybe people getting an aperitif before hitting the buffet. Yes, yeah, sir. Update. Shield hold south bramble for now. Shield proceed out to the west. And look, all that heat haze is not normally an issue here in the Port of Southampton heat haze. And it is today. Setting up the cameras for a little bit later. So the MSC Virtuosa, I hope you heard on the radio, she's just gone past the Western Shelf Boy. Keep the VTS updated on their locations. So she's off on a 14 night Northern European cruise to Cadiz, Malaga, Alicante, Alba, Mallorca, Le Frances, Barcelona, and Lisbon. I'm not sure what the weather forecasts are for those destinations, but it's certainly very warm here in the Port of Southampton. We could be having a wonderful cruise. Let's check, uh, we check Barcelona weather, shall we? The weather in Barcelona. The weather in Barcelona is going to be just like it is here next week uh, somewhere around 30 29 so it will seem like a wonderful cruise for these people these lucky lucky shipmates oh back to the chats i was going to hit the chat uh... how to advance and retire this is vts i copy your passing your registers uh, thank you Oh, shipmate, the Pat KK Andrews says he's on the Britannia on the 4th September Mediterranean cruise. Me and my mam can't wait, he says. Well, there, Vanessa Wells said that she's rather late on deck, been having a barbecue. Can't say I blame you, shipmate. Absolutely perfect weather for a barbecue. Oh, 
Well, with their leaders, Nick says, a few weeks ago he watched the Queen Victoria sell out on Netlicam and late in the evening phoned his father who lives in the, at home in Southampton and he drove to Western Shore and also watched the sale. Thank you, Good afternoon, Thank you. I'm glad you could inform your father there, Lee Nursing. Well done, shipmate. Oh. Uh, Roger, 7, the small one, three, one. We've got MSC Virtuoso going, travelling down Southampton Water. And then actually, if we look on cruise cam now at the very end we've got celebrity silhouettes just rounding cowshot spit i imagine any moment now we're going to see celebrity uh, msc virtuoso coming in from the right hand side of the screen maybe not Notice that over on Cow's Cam, the racing yachts are coming back. Red Eagle, Red Eagle, BTS. Red Eagle needs to answer the radio, doesn't he? Naughty boy. Red Eagle, say good afternoon. Handicap of Cow's just good to have uh, right middle, she's bound for Cow's. Okay, Delphinus, VTS. Okay, Delphinus, VTS, receive. Thank you for the call. And okay, Delphinus, VTS, your sailing time is 1900 local. Pilot will board you from the shore side approximately at 20 to 30 minutes before your sailing time. That's VTS arranging for pilots. Because of cow's cam, it appears to me the yachts are going round and round in a circle. Looks like they're doing the old cowboy and Indian wagon thing where they all go in a circle and defend themselves from the invaders. I think they're just rounding a boy and heading off for another leg of the race. That celebrity silhouette's just slipping past Owl's cam there. And frankly, MSC Virtuosa is also doing another job of being a silhouette as well. That's the new problem this time of year. The sun is very strong. Get some great colours, but we do also get a lot of silhouettes. We will be having... Uh, let's have a look. The next ship to depart will be the Ventura. And she is due to depart at 6.30. Then followed shortly after that at 7. In fact, also, well, almost I would say that Ventura is going to go past Iona. And Iona will move out pretty much immediately because Ventura is at the far end of the port. I'll just show you here. So Ventura is at the far end of the docks. She'll go up to here, the upper swing round, swing round, and then come down, and then Iona is all the way down here. And she'll just reverse out, and off she goes. So that'll be quite prompt to have the two of those together. Have a look. I should have a look on Netly Cam and see if see if that powerboat's gone. Can't see it. Maybe it has. MSC Virtuosa, our screens now. She's called in with such numbers of 3,383. She has actually has maximum double capacity, or sorry, maximum capacity of 6,334, or just a double occupancy of 4,800. So she's quite under-passengered. 
Uh, maximum crew is 1,704, which has got 1,664 crew on crew on board. So the crew numbers are pretty good. Oh, no, there's that power book. It's still there. Oh, let's have a look. There's something going on. Wait, is that sea start? Is that our friendly sea start, chappy? Uh, it looks like the Hamble lifeboat's come back again. Or is that just a rib? No, I think that's the Hamble lifeboat. I'm, so, I'm thinking he's got some sort of mechanical issue. I don't know how he got himself there, though. That's something like a fair line. Targa 38, I would think. Probably a newer one. I think that's got 20. Oh, yeah, it's a newer one. It's got the vertical three windows. Unless it's, unless it's a 40, of course. It could be a 40. Mm, difficult to tell. But that's the Hamill lifeboat again. He's been uh, bouncing around to the chap. I think he's got some sort of mechanical problem there. I think that's what's going on. So, yeah, so as we were saying earlier, some of these ships are going out almost full and some are going out quite light. And the MSC Virtuos is quite light. Quite light on the passengers. Two thirds capacity, I guess. Oi there, Lisa says she wants to be on that cruise. Oi there, Linda West said she didn't see Celebrity Silhouette arrive this morning. I have a feeling that she arrived at some ridiculous time, like three o'clock in the morning or something. Well, there, Steve Max says uh, that's his sole direction once past Biscay. I think he's talking about the MSC Virtuosa's Northern European Mediterranean cruise. I agree, that sounds pretty good to me. And Tim Ellis says he preferred the fields. Well, they certainly are popular. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to miss going to the fields. Oh, there, Phil Wheeler says, thinking of getting a drone. Impressed with my coverage. What drone? It's just jumped. Where did they go? Uh, what drone do you use? I use a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. I don't think... Not one that's currently sold. I think the Mavic 3 is the new one. Uh, if you wanted a drone, uh, there's Mav uh, DJI are probably the people to go to. Update at SC Virtuosa approaching Cadden will be clear. Channel and call should engage. Now reads 2020902. Yeah, be my recommendation for a DJI product. Uh, Mavic Mini 3. Yes, sir. Uh, say again. Outbound traffic MSC Virtuosa approaching Cadden will be clear. Channel and a call should engage 2020902. Nine, Depending on your budget, Mavic Mini 3 or the or the Air 2, I think it is. Or if you've got no problem with the budget, go away and go get a Mavic Pro 3. Oh, there, Carol finishes. What time? Good afternoon, user. Oh, dear. Carol Finnis, shipmate Carol Finnis is stirring the pie because she says, What time should I own depart? And it's 7 o'clock. Out advanced BTS receive, keep a listening watch on this channel until you are clear about being this area. No reported inbound traffic from the east. Uh, but rather, Nautilus is suggesting what are this week's bets. Uh, previously, we have we have started a quick, spontaneous sweepstake as the Iona recently has been much better, but uh, for a long time. Just, um, there is no reported uh, inbound traffic. For a long time, she was anywhere from half an hour to a couple of hours to about five hours late. But recently, she's been very much on time. So we, you could have a, you could have a guess. I think I'm gonna have to request. It's going to be the nearest minute. I think it's. Uh, she has been leaving bang on time. Oh, there, Nathan Pryor says it's me. I guess maybe he was a chat waving. I think Mayford Pryor must have been busy waving his hat. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 
Uh, Nathan Shipmate Relation Prior says he's been watching for weeks. Couldn't miss his moment of fame. <laughs> oh, you certainly did a top job there, Shipmate. Traffic inbound, D, register 7. Uh, DBJ, Red Eagle, by uh, West Knoll. Starting media up to send. Yes, you're a clear, sir. More of the channel. Thank you, sir. Right, shipmate Michael Smith. Hi there, VJ South. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Glad you could join the crew. Uh, Michael Smith. Michael... Michael Smith says he's on the mid aft balcony port side. Mid aft balcony port side, better look cool. Oh, where would that be? The mid aft balcony 11th floor. And you could do with a deck plan here. That's somewhere sort of. We're on the aft. Uh, what, which floor? Which is the 11th floor? Hmm. Could do with a deck plan here, couldn't we? Um. We could probably see our, another shipmate. I wonder if that's them there in the middle. Going to the green side there, outside of range. That's uh, received. Have a quick look at the deck plan and see if I can work out where the 11th, 16, 17, oh, yeah. 11. 11 is quite high up then, so it must be quite towards the top underneath the. It's probably someone typing in the chat telling me exactly where to be looking, isn't it? Tell So it's somewhere, a couple of floors down. Good ship. Aft, mid aft, aft. Did he say mid aft or mid aft? Mid aft. I think he said mid aft. Probably I own a mid aft balcony. Oh, yeah, so I think mid aft is. Oh, I think we can go along a bit. Mid aft. Mid aft is. Mid aft is the straight bit, not the wibbly bit. So somewhere along here, I think the left must be, so he's going to be along here somewhere, if he's still there. Could be one of those chaps there. Someone on their phone, is it him perhaps, or her? Anyway, he's somewhere along there. The... Lifeboat is still assisting this, what I'm assuming is a broken down fair line. That's an interesting selection of random fenders there. MSE, Virtuoso. Heading down Southampton Water. Heading down towards Cowshot. Just hiding there behind the crane. Oh, well, let's see what we can see on Netley Cam. That we can zoom in a bit. Leave the stricken Fairline Targa down there. Actually looks as though the tide's going out. A bit of beach opened up here. People there are out for a lovely walk. I wouldn't walk much further down that slipway there on the left hand side if I was once you start to hit that green bit, there's no stopping you sliding all the way down to the bottom. Luckily they won't get too wet, but it'll be a nasty journey. A 
this crane is always in the way. It's, annoyingly, this crane's at your wheels. I've never seen it move or do anything. It's just sat there blocking the view. Maybe we should try and persuade ABP to move it, shall we? Uh, Nathan Bryant was a waver from earlier. He said, uh, thanks, everyone. Everyone enjoyed his waving technique. Roger, sound yes, yes, you have the permission to proceed, sir. Hoi there, Vanessa Wells says that uh, she's looking on Vessel Finder. It says so she is constrained. What does this mean? Uh, it only means she's constrained by her draft. That uh, means she's a, a very large vessel and she can't uh, leave the channel. So you have to give way to her, basically. And at night time, they will display three red lights on the top of the vessel. And that indicates that the vessel is constrained by her draft, i.e. a big one. Uh, Hoi there, Miley's says, uh, oh yes, there you go, she's, Miles give me the correct answer. Oh, this is working now. I've actually got this working correctly this time. And there's Slurry Silhouettes just coming onto Cow's Cam. Looking very sunny over here in Cow's. On and off throughout the day, we've had a lot of yachts up there. I have got a funny picture here on Cow's Cam. I think it might need us some of the age-old technical wizardry of turn it off, then turn it back on again. She's off to the station, volume BTS. Off to the fields, if I remember correctly. Frankly, you leaving here, you might feel like you're in the Mediterranean. Uh, PTS, good afternoon to you, sir. Vigilant PTS received thank you for the call, sir. Still looks to be quite a number of people on deck. Enjoying the views of cows before heading down to that buffet. Well, Elizabeth Lee Bourne says that deck eight is the promenade deck that helps. Yes, that does help, actually. <laughs> I should have paid more attention earlier. And uh, shipmate Derek Lydon says 18 is the sunshine deck. Well, there'll be plenty of sunshine up there today, won't there, shipmate? Couldn't have a better named deck. So many pleasure craft out in the solo today. There we go, she's slipping around the corner. Michael Smith said that it was me waving. Oh, well, I didn't see, but I'm glad you saw yourself. And we could oblige. Oh, Liz Williams says he was the guy waving mid after. I'm oh, glad you spotted it. I was probably too busy looking at the deck plan rather uh, than the screen. Got the ferry going from Portsmouth to Fishbourne on the right hand side. The Red Funnel ferry going from Cowles to Southampton. Just about disappearing behind the MSC Virtuoso, and MSC Virtuoso are hiding behind the crane. Ahoy, Gwen Vickers says, looking forward to our cruises. First is on Ventura, going to Hamburg in Bruges in November. Then we're off to the Caribbean in March 2024, Britannia. Wow, you're certainly packing those in on your shipmate. Ahoy there, Breeze 147 says, never ceases to amaze me the size of these cruise ships. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there, Mr. Miyagi Doe says that the handball 
Gosport and Fair Inshore Rescue Services ride on freshwater and sand and others are all independents. Yes, absolutely right. They are indeed well pointed out there, shipmates. And if we look on Netlicam, we can get Celebrity Silhouette and MSC Virtuous in the same shot. Oh, so she's just come past Cow's Cam. Just need to run to the galley briefly. A second, she might so I won't be too long. Falcon, even again, shortly passing rule here. Okay, we just thank you. Uh, the wind champions uh, coming up to be head out for uh, course one. Uh, ready for the hook. Yeah, they're both copies. Yacht and sailing activity going up there. If we have a quick look on cows, we can see the sailing boats are coming back again. Looks like they're heading home, doesn't it? Towards that, they're coming back into cows. They all seem to be heading towards us. A wet champion, Red Falcon, good evening. Falcon, wet champion, good evening. The champion, Red Falcon, we're just about to uh, leave our berths, so we're ready to go now. Are you happy if we just nip ahead of you and we'll stick close to Town Key and grab the greens? Yeah, fine, I'll stay right on the way. Brilliant, thank you very much, sir. There we go, and we can get celebrities to the wetted again.
Oh, there Elizabeth G says we're getting some. Says we're getting amazing shots tonight. We certainly are. It's a bit interesting. Yesterday we had a, a wildfire. Today we've got. So we've got lifeboats and some clear skies and lots of yacht racing going on. And shield hall. Boy, there, Raymond Gorman says he's booked up with some friends to go on MSC World Europa in February 23rd around Dubai with his friends for his 60th. That sounds like a good one, shipment. World. The MSC World Europa is one of the newer MSC ships, uh, only launched in December last year, so it will be on a bright and shiny new ship when he goes out. So we've currently got on our screen the Celebrity Silhouette just disappearing off the left-hand side, the MSC Virtuosa dead ahead, and then we've got the Ventura uh, due to depart in about half an hour. She's at the upper end of the port. She's up here, or and she'll head towards the upper swing ground and come down. Then we've got Iona leaving at seven, and then I, there is another ship that is, in fact, I believe just off here to the left of the camera, we can't see, and that's the Hamburg cruise ship, and she's due to depart at 7.30, so if I'm lucky, I'll remember, watch out for that on Cow's Cam. And there is Shield Hall in the background. She's out on an excursion today, flying her trade around the summit on a cruise to spot four cruise ships. Uh, people often ask me a good place to go and watch the cruise ships. There are a number of locations in and around the Port of Southampton, down on Cowshot Spit. But I think being out on Shield Hall has got to be one of the top ones. I've just noticed over on Cow's Cam that the yachts are all racing back. Yes, Shield Hall again as MSC Virtuosa rounds the cow shots bit. Who oh, there for this will says that the Hamburg is out due out at 7:30. Is she a cruise ship? Yes, she is a cruise ship. Uh, fortunately, we can't see her, but I my best guess is that she's just off to the left of our picture here so if we're lucky you'll see her on cow's cam departing and coming past the screen oh there 
The pack cake counter says VTS is muffled. I know. I I don't quite understand why the chap in VTS is so muffled and everyone else is really clear. Uh, a while ago, someone someone else on the ship said, you're really muffled. And he said, oh, let me change my microphone. He changed his microphone and he was really clear. Um, but he's gone back to being muffled again. don't understand the logic. Uh, Kevin 2's given me a shot of Hamburg. Let's see, let's see if I can wizard up some magic here. We'll go back in time to this morning when the hamburgers arrived. So this is we've got say so we've got another ship that's potentially being going to be shown earlier, and that's the Hamburg. She's another cruise ship here. This is a recorded footage from earlier this morning when she arrived. You see the sake at the moment, she's just off on, I think, the left-hand side of the screen, which is why we can't see her, just over there where the other side of those yachts. Anyway, this is her from this morning arriving. Very small cruise ship, Hamburg's, and she departs at 7.30, so she's probably going to part just before Iona and the rest. Get, get to her. Sorry, that's what I meant, because by the time Iona's spun round and gone away out, she'll take a little while to get there, so she'll depart in the gap between Ventura and Iona, I suspect. Being that uh, Ventura leaves at 6.30, she'll probably be around there about 7. Interesting-looking ship there with the yellow stripes and the round portholes. And as uh, I think shipmate as well said, quite small, yes. Much smaller and potentially more intimate than some of the other vessels. That's Hamburg. That's oh, we'll see it. We've got the ferry here and the MSC Virtuosa behind the SO terminal. Oh, there at Lee Nursing says that he remembers Shield Hall as a youth in the 80s where I used to scrub the decks with some various Sea Scout volunteers. Memories of a young teen, he says. Well, you know, put, you know, put a bit of elbow grease in because she's still going. It's still run by volunteers as well. see MSC Virtuosa shortly afterwards on Cow's Camp and the next ship to depart is the Ventura at 6.30 I haven't heard anything on the radio though so she did vent, uh, radio in a while ago saying that she was all ready to go at 6.30 so nothing has changed I assume that we'll see her at 6.30 well she'll start to pass 6.30 we won't see her for a little while Shipmate Elizabeth Leeborn says that she saw the wildfire on another camera. Another camera? Think about that, shipmate. No problem. You, you watch whatever camera you want. And she said it was in Wars Ash Common. Yes, absolutely. We saw it was in Wars Ash Common yesterday. And 
a really tricky location for the fire brigade to get to. In fact, I wondered if we'd better off with a tug getting closer and then just firing the water cannon from the front of the tug, but maybe that's not easy to do either. Mr. Miyagi Do says, shame about cow shot. Hope they restore her. Mm, it's looking increasingly like she's not going to be restored and just dismantled. Oh, I can see a helicopter. See that shipmates? I'm going to see if I can do a bit of helicopter chasing. Let me identify the helicopter. Search and rescue, air ambulance. Difficult to say. I think it could be Coast Guard or air ambulance or some, something like that. I think I don't think it's a, a pleasure helicopter. Okay, which way it's going? Is it coming towards us or is it going away? Hmm, or is it just flying straight? I think it might just be flying straight. <laughs> Alright, it's over the Solent at the moment. Coast Guard, according to Tim Ellis, he's obviously checked one of his apps to come up to Coast Guard. Well, thank you for that, shipmates. So we've got Liberty Silhouette has departed, gone around the Isle of Wight. We won't see her again. MSC Virtuosa is around Cowshot, going around Bramble Bank, and we'll be seeing her on Cow's Camp. And then Ventura it departs at 6.30 with Iona at 7, and then the Hamburg will depart at uh, 7.30 and we'll we'll see the Hamburg from coming over just from the left where all these yachts are racing at the moment Hamburg coming over from the left and she will look like she'll look like that when we see her except she'll be pointing the other way she'll be going rather than arriving Yes, with Champion Pipeline out. Champion Lee, yes, thank you. The Red Jet 6 coming up to the Northwest Valley inbound, and we're ready to do the hounding. This is cool at the uh, hooking. That's the Hamburg. Just going off to hide behind the bushes on the Isle of Wight. Just checking up on that. It looks to me like a broken down powerboat, a fair line Targa. Looks like the Cow's life, the Hamble lifeboat has come back again. I'm guessing it's a mechanical problem. It looks like she's just attached herself to a swing mooring. Sweet, yes, 
We have someone else coming in to lend a hand. Hoi there, Keith and Sonia Explore. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. If you are enjoying the channel, please do think about subscribing and hit that like button, as I always forget to say. Apparently it does something for the algorithms. Let's give them a little tickle under the chin or something. Doesn't look like a very lifeboaty behaviour. Does it having one leg swung over the side like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Series 180. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Glad you subscribed. watching this power boat here not the one in the middle the one on the right it seems to be on the swing mooring it seems to be there for a while and the lifeboat has been on and off all day shield hall is at the hook okay she's let's have a look see if we the shield hall i don't know where the hook is What a jolly big, I'll go back, it's a jolly big catamaran coming up the water. The sail, look at that, it's almost got one of those sort of like semi rigid sails. Oh, that's a large catamaran. Where you park these things, they're so huge. Now it comes to the boat hook. Oh, it looks like the lifeboat is picking up another swing mooring. So he'll grab the small orange boy, not the big one. Let's grab the small orange boy. Oh, he's going to go stern too as well. Appears to be all the rage. Stern to Bethan. Thank you. Maybe not. So we're waiting now, now for the Ventura as the next ship to pass. Or oh, sorry, to part. And then it'll be Iona and then potentially Hamburg after that. Talking, the VTS was talking to the shield hall, and that is the shield hall there, right in the on the left hand side of the picture. Like everyone's gone down to the buffet. Uh, 
southeast of the map. Uh, next inbound, the uh, train Normandy 2015 for Portsmouth. MSC Virtuoso passing Cal's cam here. Dodging the luxury power boats, it's whizzing around. At this point, the MSC Virtuoso is probably in the region of 15 knots, maybe a little bit faster. They tend to speed up once they're at this point. Ahoy there, shipmate. Billy the Punky. Walk aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. If you are enjoying this channel, thank many thanks for subscribing. Do, do think about hitting that like button, apparently. It's like I say. Something to do with the algorithm and AI. Challenge for him. You can see a very thin slither around the center of the picture in the gap in the hills. It's just about to be disappear behind the superstructure on MC Virtuoso. That's the Nelson's Column, not the one in London, but one up on top of the hill there uh, next to Nelson Fort. Just passing on Cow's Can for a little bit longer. Just passing the headland. Notice that now she's just visible on that cruise cam as well. We've got the area covered with cameras, don't we? Although I'm always looking for new camera locations. Desperately trying to get some more out. I'm struggling with a couple of locations at the moment. Just access and uh, paperwork and red tape and all those sorts of things. Uh, if you do have a location with a great view of the water in the Solent Southampton area or of any port area actually and you'd be keen to have a camera about it, let me know if it's a, maybe a business or something or really advertise your business. So just let me know, shipmates, if you have a camera location. That's Wittonia, one of the bunkering vessels there, I believe. That's the bow of Iona and then in the distance is Celebrity Silhouette. No, sorry, uh, MSC Virtuosa. And there's that rather large catamaran coming up south out of water. Oh, there's CJ O'Dell. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmates. Oh, there, aka the pack, Andrew says, What's the speed limit in port, please? The speed limit in port is six and a half knots. Once you're out of the port, there is no speed limit. You can go full throttle as fast as you like all the time. Just six and a half knots in port. Although there is an element of due care and attention. And you can't just be going so fast that you can't control your, your boat and have an accident. That will be, that'll be silly of you. Looks like a one of them must be Wittonia and the other one must be uh, instead of just guessing one and just look at the information one of them is Wittonia and the other one is Wit Champion so Wit Champion's in the front, Wittonia's at the stern they're bunkering vessels, mobile petrol stations of the water they're coming down we've got a nice big powerboat coming up what's that powerboat coming up that looks like I would say Blue Shift doing 20 knots very nice. And no information on the size, maybe 10 meters. Oh, that looks bigger than 10 meters to me. With their Phil Withers, there's lots of minis on the docks. Yes, so I'll just move the camera across a bit more. So that chap at the bottom of the screen should be doing six and a half knots in this little boat. Oh, that looks a little bit fast to me. Oh, that looks like an empty car park. A 
now we can see on our screens we have local ferry steamship shield hall heading towards us and then in the very back the msc virtuosa heading off to her mediterranean cruise Put uh, the cow's cam back into the right location for catching. It will be the next cruise ship that will depart, which will be Ventura. Steamship Shield Hall. It's dead centre of the picture here. She's been out on a cruise spotting cruise. Cruise no, hang on. A cruise ship spotting cruise. No, that's the yeah, other strike. Right. Got it right. If you uh, wanted to take a little trip on it, go to the website for Shield Hall. Google Shield Hall. You'll see all the different tours she has on. It has a little band on board and food and sometimes they go to different locations. So I it's pretty interesting. See, MSC Virtuosa on this camera. Visibility is clear, it's just a slightly hazy, isn't it? Chab out there. Looks like a whole lot of minis in that car park, isn't there? It's the MSC Virtuoso at the back there, just disappearing behind the crane. SS Shield Hall is coming up Southampton Water. There's a bit of a breeze. Right the top right hand, sort of on the hill to the right, just to the left of the Tower shot tower and road sort of look above tower shot tower you can see a little white triangle on the hill that's the sea mark it's on the way in the back of the Isle of Wight it's a navigation, navigational aid for ships and that's I think if I remember correctly that's 16 miles away it's quite impressive and it's only really visible on clear days but you can see there's a bit of a bit of haze in the water above the water but clearer once you get a bit higher Yes, 
Sound lunges. Sound lunges? Empty sun lounges. Up on the top deck of Iona there. There is Shield Hall coming back in from a cruise to spot cruise ships. Just have a little look at uh, Iona, shall we? See what else is going on. In Iona, we've got uh, Shield Hall coming up Southampton Water, and uh, we've got Ventura radioed in. So it sounds like she's ready to depart. If not, she's departing now. So we could just go and check on that. Can I hear Ventura? It sounds like she's on her way, and then Iona at seven. So, and I not quite sure how it's going to fit in with shield hook coming past coming into that area of the ports let's see the uh, ventura is here she'll be up being here i'm guessing she'll be departing so surely so picture of ventura she's on her way to madeira fun shall I wonder where else she's going. We'll probably get an update from one of our excellent spanners filling us in with information there shortly, I imagine. Uh, Ventura, Kevin Two says to me, Ventura. Ventura. 
Yeah, let's just six feet, yes. Uh, yeah, I didn't copy in the fly and the third did you get the traffic from I know Yeah, apologies, old copy, sir. Thank you very much. Dear, naughty Regit 6 wasn't answering his radio. Yeah, so we've got Ventura up just about to leave about six minutes. And we'll just watch Shield Hall come up to Southampton Water, shall we? We'll have a little nose around. Or should we have a little, let's have a little nose around, uh, in, in, uh, a little nose around on the fire in a show and see what's going on there. Quite a few people are out on their balconies without shirts on. I'm guessing it's, it is that sort of weather, isn't it? We had a waiver earlier. Um, I think his name was Michael Smith. He was somewhere around about here, I think, mid aft waving away. Chap there with binoculars. He's probably looking, seeing what else is going on. Not too many people out on the balcony. Perhaps everyone's getting ready, putting on their elasticated trousers so they can go and hit the buffet and expand away. That looks like one of the pilot boats coming up here. That's an unusual to see them come this way. ABP pilot boat, I think. Let's see if we can find out who that is. Pilot boat Hampstead. That's what that is. It's not often we see the pilot boats in ports. They normally come in at Portsmouth. Not sure why she's here. Unusual. But these, the, these are the pilot boats that take the pilots out onto the ships or bring them back. Maybe she's delivering a pilot to one of the ships in ports, actually. That could be that. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if we can work out what's going on. Anyway, let's back, going back to having a little nose at uh, Iona. So I think people are probably just getting ready to put their elasticated waistbands on so they can pig out at the buffet. Or topless men. I don't see many people just sitting out on their balconies. They seem to be standing, or unless I can't see people sitting. Well, I would think you would see people sitting. I can see chairs. Oh, I can see someone sitting at the top. more people down this end of the ship i'm not sure how the pricing goes i know some of these cabins are quite different in layouts you know, if you're on the corners and bendy bits Oh, Ellie Murley. It mates has just realised why the pub in Lion Ridges is called the Pilot Boat Inn. Oh, there you go, shipmates. That is why it's called the Pilot Boat Inn, because once the pilot gets back on the pilot boat, he's so relieved to be on dry land, he needs a rum. Oh, Tim Ellis, shipmates, has informed me as to why. I'm seeing Hampstead pilot boat. He says that they've been using it in, as the Southampton patrol boat. I didn't know that. It's not normally there. Normally it's one or the other one. It's a Spitfire. I'm guessing there's probably some problems or they're rearranging stuff. There's some fantastic balconies here, isn't there, on the front of the ship. I wonder if they cost more. I wonder if they're really windy. I wonder if they're very windy on the front. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? It's like being on the front of a car. Slightly windier. See if we can get the shield hall on cruise cam, shall we? Certainly see on Netley cam. That, that is the pilot boat there, whizzing up Southampton water as we speak.
I'm not sure if today was today, but on the SS Shield Hall they have a, a tribute band, a UB40 tribute band called RU40. One of the uh, chaps in the band, he's a very talented musician. Seen him play a few times. Very good. Looks like we're worth checking out their website if you fancy a day out on the water and you don't want to rent a dinghy. You'd like proper lavatories. Hopefully Ventura, any luck, should be pushing off about now. Nope, still appears to be a dockside. And then followed by Iona. Ventura's off. Thank you, the champion at the Blackjack Out main channel, please. And the Jack Six, the FA Clyde Out. The Iron Machine Lady from 2613 at 1900. Ventura's off on a cruise around the um, Caribbean. No, no, no. Feels lower in the Caribbean. And the Ventura is off on a cruise around the Canary Islands and Madeira. Not quite yet departed, but due shortly. Oh, oi there, shipmate Tobias Cutler. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Glad you could uh, join us and join the crew. I'm still having some issues down here with the lifeboat. I've got lots of high-vis jackets on. That's a different power boat than the one we saw earlier. A whole variety of comings and goings down there. I wonder what's going on. I shall have to ask. That's the other one. So we've got two lifeboats down here now. Crikey, what is going on? Oh, it looks like someone slipped over. Oh dear. Probably wearing a life jacket, although... If you're wearing your life jacket and you slip over, you end up uh, falling into the water. Your auto life jacket inflates, and then you go, <coughs> and then you turn into a big puffer fish. Is that someone in the water? Yeah. It is someone in the water. Oh, I wonder if it's a diving issue. So they've got their propeller wrapped around the swing mooring. You've got a diver in the water there. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not entirely sure what, frankly, why, why a boat that size is that close to the swing moorings. The swing moorings will typically have chains. So if the chains are wrapped around the stern gear or the props, it's not going to be an easy job to free it, unlike a bit of rope where you can put your knife through it and cut it off. You can't do that with the swing moorings being chain-based. 
lot of yachts I've noticed on on Netley Camp. Just oh sorry, I just missed it. It's heating over quite hard. Yes. Getting some some good breeze out there. Venturi store not yet moved. Ahoy, shipmate Ian Rolls. Work aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. As I've mentioned before, subscribing helps the channel out, tickles the AI algorithms at Google and YouTube, and I'll recommend my hopefully excellent content to other like-minded shipmates. Currently watching... Well, it appears to me we've been seeing this all afternoon. I think I know what the problem is now. The lifeboat is here and there's been something going on and I couldn't work out what was going on. And I think we've discovered. I think we've discovered that this power boat here, which looks to me like a Fairline Targa. Oh, we there, shipmate Keith Reinhardt. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. I was just saying, this ship has this powerboat, this Fairline Targa. I'm going to go for a 38. Could be a 43. Could be a 40, but I think it's a 38. It's been here all afternoon with various lifeboats here. We're not really knowing what's been going on. Uh, but I think I can see the problem now. There's now a diver in the water. So I'm guessing either they are... They've got something wrapped around their props, or they've gone too close to the swing mooring, got that wrapped around their prop. Um, don't know, but I thought perhaps there was some sort of mechanical problem, and that appears to be the case. Hmm. Fascinating, because I did notice there was what was the there was another one over here. So that's the that's the handball lifeboat, and then here is another power boat that seems to have just rocked up. Maybe they've just come across to say hello. See, he's picked up the swing boring wire. That's the small red one on a chain. Popped it onto his cleat. Maybe they've just come across to assist. No, do, do, well, they're all wearing life jackets, so that's reasonably good behaviour. That's the Hamble lifeboat. And here is the, the boat that appears to be in distress. And these may be some divers. Perhaps his props were really dirty. He wasn't going fast enough. He's decided he's had enough of it. He wants someone in to come and clean his props. BTS, I don't know. I Yeah, evening to you. Portside Long Island 46 berth, uh, 8.57 deepest out to Stavanger, Norway. Uh, get back to you with the figures later. Any news on the Oriana? Sorry, Ventura. I think the captain uh, is uh, having a bit of a time warp there, suggesting that you're <coughs> waiting for the departure of the Oriana. <laughs> mm. Oh, hoy there, Carlos van Dichli. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. This is the Iona. We just heard the captain of the Iona radio in. Now, it sounds like they're ready to depart, so I don't think there's much point in having a Iona sweepstake, because I think she might leave pretty much bang on Dot Ventura. The other end of the port apparently is on the move. I'm not desperately convinced about that. I think she's due to be on the move. And then we'll have the Hamburg at about 7.30 as well. But meantime, let's try and work out what's going on over here with this Fairline Targa 38. I think this it's got some sort of mechanical issue. Now there's divers in the water. I'm thinking it's got something wrapped around the wrapped around the props. Hey, power boats don't typically have any devices for cutting lines wrapped around the props. But I can't see the red buoy. So maybe they've picked up a. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to ask Matt at the uh, Netley Cliff Sailing Club see if he can give us a steer on what's going on. Quick look in the chat. Sorry, she bits. I'm not really looking in the chats for a while. I've got a bit carried away I'm trying to work out what's going on here. Uh, someone says about a diet on the cruise ship. No. Our diet after the cruise ship, I think, is probably what I meant. Oh, there, shipmate Chris. Yeah, 
Back. Oh, here we go. Welcome aboard, Chris Beck. Six one one four total. That's a lot of people, isn't it, shipmate? But that's a very big ship, so I can't seem surprised. <coughs> now, welcome aboard, the new shipmate. I do thank all. I'd like to thank all shipmates who have subscribed. Um, and actually, I have heard some people say they've become unsubscribed. So you might want to check. You're still subscribed. And it's definitely. I can see if I can zoom in a bit more. It's definitely a diver, isn't it? Yes, there he is. Oh, she is, I should say. I can't see. It's a little dive boat. It's quite a current in Southampton water. You've got to be careful when you're diving. And he's going back down again, so there's obviously still some issue going on. Just going to ask Matt at the next sailing company knows going. So Ventura's not quite singling up just yet. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, but we'll, let's just enjoy this. So we've got, I can't show you Ventura, unfortunately, because she's going into port. I've got a slight issue there with that. Oh, there we go. She is moving now. So Ventura has just slipped away from the side here. On her way up to the upper swing ground up here. Have a little spin round banks. So we won't see her for a while, and then just pretty much as she passes Iona, Iona will then reverse out. Fantastically clear picture that is, isn't it? What a beautiful sky! So Iona will reverse out, spin around, and head off, and then we'll probably see uh, Hamburg on Cow's Cam so over here on Cow's Cam. The cruise ship Hamburg is just off to the left here, I believe. She came in this morning. And uh, I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't see, can't see at the moment, so I'm only hoping that she's there somewhere. Cruise ship Hamburg looks a bit like this. Uh, it's a very small cruise ship compared to what we've got in port at the moment. White with a yellow go faster stripe down the side. It's the cruise ship Hamburg. Let's, let's have a quick look, shall we, and see what's going on. They're sending a diver in the water here. I don't think BTS, VTS are normally quite good about issuing warnings of dives in the water. Leaning over the back, I'm guessing there's something caught around the props. Interesting to know the story of what's going on here. Uh, so I was back to chat again to see what's going on here. Uh, staggering how many cabins there are on these cruise ships and liners. There's Lee. It says shipmate Lee Dursting. Oh, John Donnelly. John Donnelly asks, uh, answers my question. Says I have mentioned something about the cost of cabins. It says depends on where your cabin is. Front, middle or stern can vary considerably. Oh, there we go. So I thought that might be the case. I thought the price of cabins would vary considerably. I don't know what... Uh, uh, like I guess I'm guessing if you're on the bow of a ship, it could be quite windy. I mean, quite pleasant when you're in port, but when you're going along, maybe you don't want to be out because the ships are doing you know, 20, 25 miles an hour. It's not the most pleasant place to sit there drinking, drinking your rum-based cocktail. Uh, 
Oh, there, Tim. Tim Ellis, excellent spanner, says that uh, they've cut the propeller off. Uh, well, maybe cutting the propeller off would enable it to be freed up. Lee Nursing says, not surprised it's not more frequent than the craft. Do you know what? I'm surprised as well. Yachts seem to fall into this. Delivery silhouette. That has to be good. Good evening, sir. Silhouette to DTS, sir. There's no reported inbound traffic. The city is just, uh, just about to start dredging two miles south east of Nabtap. Yeah, I normally hear yachts picking up grey ropes for some reason more than power boats. I'm not sure why this is. And they have little devices on their propellers that cut the ropes off. So we're just waiting. Whoops, not the wrong one. We're just waiting for the uh, Ventura to appear on the screen. She's on her way. She has departed the dock. And she's just on her way up to the upper screen ground. So that's Ventura's on her way. Then I imagine as soon as she passes, pretty much as soon as she passes Iona here on the right. We will then see. Uh, we will then see. We will then see Iona reverse out, and then the cruise ship Hamburg, which came in this morning, looks like this. The BTS, that's all copied. The uh, Ventura in the upper swinging ground, swing in the now band. Iona stations depart shortly. And I think he's just said exactly the same thing I've just said to you. In the meantime, let's, let's see what's going on. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? Oh. There. Uh, don't want a blank screen, do we? Oh, there. The pack AK address says, do all cruise ships have to have pilots? The answer is no. Uh, if you're home port is the port of Southampton. If your home port Ready Eagle DTS, that's all copy traffic information. A shield hall, thirty eight nine berth inbound four one ten berth, red jet seven, just north of Greenland inbound, red osprey at the reach inbound. Just got shield hall now. Back on the screen. She's heading up towards Ventura, so she's got to pass Ventura probably somewhere up there. Oh hi there, Tiao Love fifty one, welcome. Aboard shipmate, many thanks for subscribing. So these shipmates have had a fantastic day out on Shield Hall, I'd imagine. Seeing the cruise ships, they'll see Ventura going out. Uh, Shield Hall's only just back from being down in form of having some works done, so she's all very clean and tidy. See if I can get Netley Cab to come back because I'm still fascinated to know what's going on down there. There we go. So they've got divers in the water here doing something. And so somebody was asking about this. Well, yachts seem to struggle more with props being twisted, but uh, with ropes and things, but uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, uh, oh, there, Rachel Denton says her mum. And her nan are on Ventura. Oh no, his mum's on Ventura, and nan's on MSC, and I've just watched his nan. <laughs> Excellent, your whole family's off travelling to the port of Well done, shipmate. Now waiting for a mum to leave. <laughs> Excellent. Red Osprey DTS. Oh, then Lisa says the. Uh, I'm guessing they're. Red Osprey DTS, that's all copied. Traffic information, Ventura in the upper swinging hand. Swing down band, Iona at stations on 46 Bird to depart, and the MYK Delphinus going to stations on SCT 2 to depart. Uh, 
uh, Matt from the Commodore from Netlicly Sailing Club says someone's told him about this, but he doesn't know any more than what we seem to know. So possibly, as someone said, possibly they've tangled their lines around the swing boring mooring boys, but I don't know why you'd be coming in that close in a power boat that size, frankly. That just seems very odd. I wonder if they've come in and just hooked up because they're experiencing a problem. NYK Delphinia CTSF. If uh, if they have if they have snagged the line, then that is uh, a bit silly. Uh, be, I mean, the, make it, uh, it's a good point because someone's uh, I've written questions. Uh, will they get into sorry, early races? Will they get trouble or if it's something that's their fault? Uh, it does depend on what's going on. And uh, Matt uh, Richard Franklin from Netley Cliff Stadium. So he's reported that they seem to have got parts of their moorings fouled. Sorry, they seem to have got part of the mooring fouled around their propellers, so maybe they were in too close. I'm not quite sure what they were doing there then. That's a very odd. MYK Delphinius, Southampton BTS. I don't know quite why our boat be there. So, you know, he's concerned that the moorings may be damaged from what's going on. But like I say, I don't quite know why they would be there. NYK Delphinia. Can I speak to the pilot, please? It's just going to turn off the radio for the moment because I think that NYK Delphinia is being rather tiresome. Occasionally you can get ropes and things called around various different items. Normally it's not your fault, you just pick up a bit of rope floating in the water, but if they've gone too close to the swing mooring, then uh, somewhere it will be in trouble, I suspect, especially if they've caused some damage to floating mooring. Floating mooring is just a large block of concrete at the end of a chain or rope. It's normally a chain, not a rope, because you want uh, maximum security if the weather and tides are strong. So if he's wrapped around the chain, then that's, I say, that could be a real mess. but it appears no one really knows what's going on. But he shouldn't be there, I think that's the general gist. Uh, oh yes, someone's asked about pilots on cruise ships. I've got to, yes, if your cruise ship, if you're departing from the port you're based in, then you don't need a pilot. So if you're based in the port of Southampton, you wouldn't need a pilot. But as none of these ships are registered in the port of Southampton, they all need pilots. The idea being that if you are in your own home port, you should know the waters well enough and be experienced. But if you're in waters somewhere else, you don't know the waters, so hence you should get a pilot on board, and that applies to cruise ships, commercial ships. I think it's any vessel over the length of... I think it might be 38 metres or something like that. 34 metres, 33 metres. I should know, really shouldn't know. Let's have a quick look on the bow of Iona, seeing what's going on in there. Oh, no. I'm going to look, see if our shipmate's there. No, no one there, all the lines still attached. Let's still wait for her to move on. Meanwhile, let's see what our diver chap's getting up to then.
<laughs> oh, I didn't realise. Ellie Burley says, poor bloke's got no idea he's got 720 people watching him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Ah, yeah, it's good. Especially if he's actually made a, a faux navigational faux pas and picked up the swing mooring lines. I don't know how he could avoid that big, if he's missed that big red boy, then yes, um, it may be a little bit egg on face. He appears to be reasonably in shape, though he does have life jackets on, so he's generally doing the right thing. Like I say, I don't know why you'd even there. The small ships channel is a long way from there. And the main channel is even further away. So why are you at that part of the water? I don't know. There's loads of boats moored up. It's just, I don't know. I don't get it. don't know what, what's going on there. The mooring master at Netley Cliff Sailing Club is very concerned that his mooring will be fouled. And that's a real job to get those. Oh, the divers back out the water. Uh, of course, we are supposed to be watching cruise ships. Um, see if I can find a cruise ship to look at. Uh, Ventura, Ventura has turned. Uh, she's spun around at the top. So Ventura spun around at the top, and no one is in the well deck just yet on Iona. In the meanwhile, let's have a look at this diver, which just come back up. Oh, there's some hammering going on here. Ooh, I want. Ooh, interesting. Oh, we've only had a bit more zoom, eh? What is he hammering then? So the swing mooring boy has a big boy. Redjet six BTS, that's all copy. Traffic information. Red Eagle approach dock head outbound. Ventura in the upper swinging ground outbound. Iona shortly away from 46 berth as Ventura passes and the NYK Delphinius and SCT2 at stations to depart. So the swing mooring boy has two boys, the really big one that you can see there behind the diver, and then a smaller one which is on a bit of chain that you pick up. Can I see a hacksaw? I think they've picked up the chain. I'm pretty sure that you know, we'd have to ask... Uh, have to ask Richard, but I'm pretty sure that there will be a chain. Let's ask Richard, shall we? Oh, let's keep... let's have... You can do all these things with technology. These things. Let's ask Richard what's going on. Needles, VTS, that's all copy traffic information with Champion, west wide middle, inbound, north of the right middle. Of ask him, are the moorings? Uh, the VTS is heading to the port of the I've asked Richard if they're chained. Looks to me like he's trying to. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying was, there's two. There's a big mooring boy, and then there's a small one on a chain that you hook in and then attach to your vessel. So it could be that that they're trying that they've run over, which would be really odd because it's not normally very long. It's normally only a couple of meters long. It's enough for you to hook it up and then attach it to your vessel with a normally a custom made. Oh, that's looking serious, isn't it? Custom bit of rope. Oh, that's a chain. That is a chain. Oh dear, this is a. Oh dearie me. I think there's going to be sharp inhales of breath and rubbing of chins. So that's what they've been trying to do is get this chain off. So somehow they've picked up the chain and wrapped your ass from. Oh, that's that's really. That looks really bad. Yeah, that's really, that's going to be a real tricky to un, unmess all of that up. That's around the props. No idea what that will have done to the props either. It's highly likely to have damaged the props. Oh, the diver there is helpfully cleaning off the back of this nice gin palace. All that mud and muck that's just come off the sea, off the chain. Scratching his lovely Fairline Targa. 43, 48, 38. Very nice indeed as well. So we are just waiting for Ventura, and while we're waiting for Ventura, I just thought we'd watch the fascinating 
So this is like the AA. So you've you've had a breakdown. Um, like I say, sea starts that normally rescue boats. They're not here because they're not divers. So you've had the lifeboat here, it's probably um, scratching their heads for a while, trying to work out what's going on. And then now eventually you've got the proper divers fully kitted out have come along to try and get this poor chap back on the water. Oh, sorry, mobile. He's on the water. Iona DTS, that's all copied. Also, the uh, red Osprey Greenland inbound and Regis 6 just by the cows inbound. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. The Iona is singling up, so we have a quick look over here on Iona. I can see the chaps come out, so those lines will start coming in. I've noticed that Iona is very, it must be a low tide. Um, normally, that well deck where these chaps are standing, you know, where these shipmates are standing, is much higher up in the air above the ocean terminal whereas at the moment it's down below it see the shipmates scurrying around inside so ventura is likely to be on our screens shortly i was going to nip out afterwards have a quick look at ventura yeah she's on her way oh she's about to pass shield hall uh, halfway by the horizon terminal and then she'll be at mayflower park and then i will reverse out afterwards it's all happening oh hello what's going on here now Yes, the uh, Richard Franklin from the Netflix Sailing Club says the, uh, the moorings are indeed secured to a concrete sinker via chain, as we suspected. So how he's run into this, I have no idea. This is a training exercise gone wrong, of course. Can't really work out what they're trying to do now. Never a dull moment, is there, shipmates, on the Solid Ships YouTube channel? He looks like the diver is explaining something to the lifeboat there. Of course, there's nothing to say that if they do actually untangle the vessel, that the vessel will work afterwards. The engine should be fine if it's wrapped up with a chain. It doesn't normally do too much damage. It brings them to a halt pretty quickly, can cause some stress, but that's, uh, these things do happen. But it could well damage the propeller. Uh, it could, if it was really bad, it could bend the prop shaft. There's some definitely some hand gesticulation going on there. If only I could read sign that. Oh, look at that. It's saying, da da, there's two props. Um, it's something going on over there. What I really want is this big crowbar. And I really fancy a beer because I'm fed up with this now. It's quarter past seven, Saturday afternoon, and I'm trying to untangle this chap's propellers. I'm not really enjoying it. Uh, 
there's definitely some complicated explanation going on. I'm trying to imagine what he's saying. We had the chain up earlier, but... Curious. Oh, there, Caroline Kersey says they're going on Iona in September. Looking forward to it. Excellent ship, mate. Don't forget, give us a wave if you if you can go up here, like these chaps are, like these shipmates are there. Give us a wave on a cruise cam yeah, up there, and then uh, Iona's waiting to single up. She's just waiting for Ventura to come past. Ventura is heading down towards Mayflower Park now. Ventura is down here, uh, approaching Mayflower Park. VTS, once the Ventura passes 46 first, the uh, Iona will be backing out. There we go, we heard that. Iona backing out immediately once Ventura leaves. Uh, let's have a quick uh, look through the question what's going on here. Ethan's travel vlog says the rear ropes on Iona are being released. Yep, she's singling up from what we hear. That means they're reducing the number of lines disappearing. And Ethan's vlog says down now the front ropes. Mm. Yep, I think you're right, shipmates. Let's just check on that. I think they're coming up. Yeah, they're coming up now. So the lines are coming in on Iona. I'll keep an eye on my other screen about what's going on with the other ship. And... I mean, Iona really is. She's going to be blasting straight out. Oh, we've got a waiver. We've got a waiver on the bow of Iona. Look at that. Excellent. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more on these waivers. There we go. Uh, a couple of shipmates there. I wonder if they're going to... Oh, they've put a towel out. Oh, well spotted. Oh, good, good, good. It's, it's much easier to spot when you have a towel out. Ventura VTS, Ventura VTS, we'll copy traffic information, Red Osprey approaching northwest at the inbound, Red Jet 6, Wally VT inbound. Ventura's at pier heads, so she'll be on screen shortly. Obviously they've noticed themselves on that green. <laughs> Hopefully waving to friends and family back home. Lines are singling up. Um, what's going on here? Life lifeboat man. Oh, hang on. Ropes. More ropes. More lines. More wharf. suggesting that the driver of the vessel here was got his license from a cereal packet. Uh, someone else said he's talking with his hands. Like, that was Lisa. Lisa says, talking with the hands, me included. Oh, maybe the diver's gone inboard now. He's after a tot of rum. He says, I've been in the water long enough. Give me a tot of rum, and I'll maybe think about continuing on. Or is he starting the engines? He is at the helm. And is he, oh, he is. Yeah, he's always oh, turning the wheel. Ah, oh, the engine's running. Oh, progress. Ah, so, he's, so that looks like just the engines have started. Oh, that's definitely some thrust going on. No, I think. Some, oh no, that could be the Hamble lifeboat. No, I'm sure it's the. Uh, sure it's the other boat. He has started his engines, so this is good. Perhaps they have. Finally extricated him from the the devious chains that are sneakily put on the swing moorings. I'll see what uh, Richard says. 
Richard Franklin says, get your gin palace off our moorings. So the Iona is going to depart at the start of the slip out at the same time uh, as Ventura's passing. I mean, that's, that's urgency, that is. Uh, she's obviously a little bit upset that it's a slightly late departure. Ventura's fault. I don't know why uh, she didn't get going. I think this this vessel could be good to go now as well. Oh, what a day. I don't know where to point my cameras now. Um, gonna go. going to have a quick look at the uh, Iona. Ventura is a little way away and quite keen to see what's happening with this. Uh, there she goes. I think she's off. She has slipped the swing mooring. Don't like that line dangling in the water off the rear. I don't think we want any more hiccups, do we? Come on, chaps, bring that line in. Come on. What are you doing with a line dangling in the water? That's terrible. That's Well, unless it's holding up something, of course, but... Uh... I think you may be talking about this one. Yeah, the diver's taking his dive flag in, and it looks like we're well. They're all looks like they're they're off. So. We will find out. I just saw the Richard Franklin from Netlicliss Sailing Club said that because the lifeboat were called in, there will be a incident on the lifeboat, and they will be able to find out what exactly happens because no one at the sailing club knows at the moment. I'm going to go across here and see if I can see some sort of cruise ship because I think that's. That's what we're supposed to be. So that is Ventura now on camera, and we've got just a few seconds to wait before she'll appear on cruise cam. And the vessel power boat that seems to got itself all wrapped round the swing mooring line has finally freed herself. So that was quite a pleasant interruption. Tim Ellis says only using one propeller. Maybe. Certainly be possible to manoeuvre with one engine or twin engine boats like that. You'll have a bow thruster. It won't be too difficult. It is a low tide. I am very confused as to what's happened there. It will be interesting to see the report. Turn the radio off. I think we don't need it anymore. It's a bit staticky. Right, radio is off. The Ventura's on her way. Down or through the Port of Southampton. That's uh, Hamble Marina in the background. If you own a house in Hamble Marina, you get yourself a mooring as well. Lovely evening here in the Port of Southampton. Let's see if we've got any shipmates on the decks of Ventura. I say, if you do happen to find yourself on a cruise ship and you want to be zoomed in, one of the best places to go is up near the nameplate. I do, I do quite, quite partial to zooming in up near the nameplates. 
Anybody waving at us today? Oh, unless more, I was going to say, more people with their shirts on here, but I'm looking carefully. No, there seems to be a lot of people that have their shirts on. It's just a reflection of the fantastic temperatures we got today. It really is very tropical out there. All sorts of things going on in Port today. Yesterday we had wildfires, and today we've got disabled gin palaces messing up the mooring of our very friendly Netlicklist Sailing Club who provide us with the location for our Netly Camp. See anyone waving? Iona is singling up and she'll be shortly off after Ventura has passed. Uh, slightly later, so she'll be departing at about 7.30, so it's half an hour later than usual. I think they're going to blame Ventura for that one because Iona had to wait for Ventura. I think Iona should have gone first, really. Just look quite busy on deck. No, I don't think we've had any numbers. Let me check on numbers. Uh, Ventura. I don't think we've had any Ventura numbers. I can see. She's off on a 14-day cruise to the Canary Islands and uh, Madeira. That will be a wonderful cruise. I don't know what the weather's like, but I've checked earlier for the Mediterranean. It wasn't too bad, so I suspect it's probably pretty good all around the Mediterranean and over on the other side in the Canary Islands. Interesting stern here on the Venture. It sort of leans back and then it's got this whole sort of tiered balcony arrangement. I don't know if that's where the bar is. Looks like more people without shirts on. How sunny it is, though. Absolutely fantastic. And one of the red funnels is just waiting for the Ventura to pass by. There it is, Ventura Hamilton. Typically, like I say, typically not registered in their own home ports of Southampton. Registered all over the place. I'm sure for very tax efficient purposes. got Ventura barely passing Iona and she's already reversing out I mean that's that's impatient isn't it didn't hear any honking of horns you would have thought with the two P&O ships they would have had a bit of a honk exchange that often happens but nothing Lots of shipmates on their balconies enjoying the lovely sunny afternoon here in the Port of Southampton. Just noticed that we have over 700 people viewing the channel, but only 335 likes. Doesn't seem like a fair number to me, does it? I think a clicking of the like buttons, and if you haven't subscribed, do you think about subscribing, shipmates? Very bright and sunny. Oh, lovely day. Lovely day to get stuck in your gin palace. Real reflection off the water. And it's a very low tide as well. Not sure that was a problem for the Japanese powerboat, but it is a low tide. Piano Iona off on her travels. She is off for a seven-night cruise to the fjords, calling in at the Banger, Olden, Elisint, Giranga, and Hugesund. I would hopefully mispronounced every single one of those names. No numbers yet for Ventura. Thank you to Kevin too for that one, providing me the information. It's a lovely sunny day here in Port. I was 
going to say, maybe we can see Ventura, but we can't. She's just hiding behind the girth and bulk of Iona. Hoi there, Daniel Sand says, hands up if you like the like button, and just click it if you like it. If you don't like it, don't click it. I mean, I can't say I'm too bothered. Captain is laissez faire on these things. Ellie Murray says, I own us in no mood for honking. That's right. She's like, well, come on, you've delayed me long enough. I'm not honking. I'm getting out of here. Oh, the Lisa Sergeant says, Queen Mary has Hamilton on two. Yes, Hamilton's very popular portrait. Oh, look at the smoke coming out of that Ventura. Doesn't look like any clean burn technology I'm familiar with. Oh, crikey. It's even causing a cloud. Oh, you wouldn't want to be on the back, would you? Oh, I think I'm. I always said I think I'd be on the rear and the sipping a rum based cocktail, enjoying the sunset. But looking at the state of that funnel, I don't think I will. I think I might uh, have to move to the bow or something. That's terrible. That's a real, real ponger. Lovely clear view over to the Forley refinery. Number of people out on the front balconies. This is probably the best time to be on the front of the ship when it's going backwards, less windy. Oh, hi there, Robin Higgins. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmates. Glad to have you on board. Yeah, quite a few. I don't think I've ever seen quite so many people on the front of Iona. I think that's probably where I'm, I'm not sure where I'd like to be. I actually, I think I would quite like to be on the front. It'd be a, pretend I was manoeuvring in control of the ship. Quite a few people on their side balconies there. Interesting elongated side ones. I think I'm looking at the deck plan for that. Tim, Sell Tim Ellis, our excellent spell, says that uh, 4,479 passengers on board, 1,365 crews. I think that's one thing we can say. It's bound to get colder on the way up to the fields. Number of shipmates on their balconies. Iona is the largest ship that we have coming to port frequently. I mean, there are a few that are slightly larger, but Iona's in and out every Saturday on out there to the fields. We have some other ships like Anthem of the Seas and a few others have a few more passages on board, but Iona is the our frequent ambassador from the Ocean Terminal. Draws a very large crowd, I've noticed, along with the along with uh, Queen Mary too. Oh, hi there, Jackie. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. And so you've got... Uh, Ventura coming down Southampton Water. I wonder if that's the vessel earlier that was slightly disabled not going very fast could be could be look i mean just look at the size of this ship just massive so many balconies like i say almost seven thousand passengers on board it oh hi there ned ned she sibling welcome aboard shipmates i apologize if i've mutilated your name but i shall blame that on the based cocktail maybe you are from the fields with a name like that perhaps you're not perhaps you're from perhaps you're from wolverhampton oh hi there jacqueline Lindsay. welcome to the cruise ship mate. many many thanks for becoming a member of the channel hope you're enjoying it I hope to provide you many more hours of enjoyed entertainment grab yourself a mug of grog oh, away to the galley Ahoy there, Corey Stade. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. Iona's just reversing out now. And a gloriously sunny afternoon here in Port Southampton. Lovely warm. In fact, it's about the first time I've been slightly cool in a while. It's been a very warm day.
Iona's just going to reverse back a bit more, start her spin, and then slip on out. And then we've got Ventura partly way down Southampton Water. I can actually see Ventura a little bit better now. She's slightly out of the bright light and reflection, a little bit more visible. Does indeed look like a, a reasonable breeze down there as well. Oh, with a Delta 41 box. Any thanks for subscribing, shipmate. Had an excellent live stream when Ion arrived in port. Many, many thousands watching. One of the newer ships made voyage was August last year. Now, depending on how you age the ship you could say she's coming up to her first birthday has a total passenger capacity of uh, 5200 and total crew of 1762 basically you add the two numbers together and it comes to somewhere near 7000 people i think that's an impressive amount of people on a ship i mean compared to some of the other ships uh, it's double don't quite know where they all go. Well, they go in all those cabins, don't they, of course? Must be a very large buffet somewhere on that ship. Oh, hey there, Clara Cooper. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. There was a metric we keep talking about, and that's the number of eggs being consumed. But there must be a lot of eggs being consumed on that ship. Not quite as many on Ventura. Ventura, by comparison, quite a bit older. She's um, made voyage was in 2008, so 14 years old. Total capacity of 3,600 maximum, and I don't quite know how many crew, but I'm guessing it's about 1,200. So I could say about half, just over half the capacity of Ventura. Lots of cabin windows open there, people getting a bit of fresh breeze in as they're coming down Southampton water. Ready for, ready for going out for dinner. Probably perfect timing, unless they've already gone, of course. I know it's almost back from right round. She'll keep on going. It's really, really confusing seeing the views of the different cameras. You think to yourself, well, she stopped. You think, where's she going? She's like reversing off the screen, but uh, no, no, she's got plenty of space to go. Don't see so many pleasure craft out now. 20 to 8, most people have decided. Long enough to be out on the water, time to go home. Boy, they're Glenn Mack. May thanks for subscribing, shipmates. And they've probably decided that they've messed up their boat by getting it caught on a swing mooring somewhere. Best to go and hang their head in shame somewhere. Go back and check on my own. No, she's still spinning. She's just slowly reversing off the side of the screen here. I will just carry the other one. Oh, hi there, Hip Hamlets. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing.
water does look inviting. Almost completely off the edge of the screen here. Oh, there's someone who's late. Ah, oh, hoi there, Isaac. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Good to have you on board, shipmate. There we go. Look at that. Almost off the edge of the screen. I can't tell, move the camera any further right. That's as far as I can go. <laughs> So it's very low water. Look at that, the beach is dried up. And hopefully that power boat was not too badly damaged and everyone looked like they were safe on board. I'm sure he'll get a telling off from his wife when he gets home. Silly man, what were you thinking? Ahoy there, Ellie Murney says, uh, I wonder how long it takes to walk from Iona's bow to stern. Oh, that's a good question, though. That's going to take a while, isn't it? If you're walking at a normal pace, it's going to take a few minutes to do a lap, maybe. I wonder what it takes to do a lap. It's quite a long way. Iona is 344 metres long. So you say that's around about 700 metres. I don't know how many metres a second to walk. Two metres a second. Oh, quite a while then. Guessing now that she's finished reversing, popped into drive, the left hand down, check the rearview mirror, put up the flag, and off we go forwards. Certainly has dried up there, doesn't it? Down at the Netley Cliff Sailing Club. David JM says it's feet and inches, please. Oh, okay. Uh, feet and inches. So that's going to be 2,260 feet and six inches. Happy shipmates. And 18 decks, says Phil Wheeler. Okay, yeah, so you could do a lap of each. Blimey, that could run a marathon. You do a lap of each deck. It's almost a kilometre each deck, 18 decks, 18 kilometres. It's quite a lot. I don't think you can do a lap of each deck. It's as easy as that. Started to move on her way off to the fjords. Fjords. Have a look and see if we can see anyone on the decks waving, shall we? Jack there. You can see the shipmates on the well deck. Uh, I don't quite know how long they stay on there for, but they've been on there for quite a while, keeping an eye on things. I suppose they could radio the bridge if they see something in the water that shouldn't be there, something sh big and heavy or sharp, or maybe a swing mooring that you get your propellers caught around. A few people there on deck. Uh, I'm just starting to smell food coming from someone's galley somewhere. It's very disturbing. 
Still breezy though, look at those flags go. Definitely on the shady side, port side. Starting to get a reflection of that row row that's just docked. Windows. Let's have a look on the top deck, shall we? See what's going on. If you go right to the back, we have the infinity pools. So perhaps there'll be someone in the infinity pools. Having a little swim. I can see the water streaming away there. Oh, yep, there are people in the pool. I saw this the other day. It's the first time I think I saw it the other day. It was people in the pool. I'd like to know if they're sipping a rum based cocktail while they're in the pool or if they look like children, don't they, really? Maybe they're not allowed. Oh, hoy there, Caroline Kersey. Many thanks for your kind donation. Very much appreciated. I think there's a, another pool lower down, isn't there? I seem to remember. Or am I just imagining that? I think I must be getting my ships confused. No, no, no. Just those two. Quite a few people on the stern. Not as smoky as Ventura. So I'd probably get a stern cabin on the Iona. Ventura is very smoky indeed. Very, very busy. Ventura off down Southampton Water, getting towards the end. Right, it's again cool. Get past the SO terminal. And there's that ship that we, the Wilhelius Wilhelmsen ship that we were getting the lovely reflections from Windows of Iona. Ronnie G says, O to be on a cruise. Steph P's missed all the fun. You have, we had divers and lifeboats, all sorts going on. Build in the gap between the cruise ship movements. It was a pretty good timing, actually. A little while before we get a sunset, and we don't get any. We won't get any decent sunset pictures this evening, unfortunately. It's a little too early for departures, or the sun's setting too late. But there's some lovely light out there. The Queen Elizabeth Terminal at the far end here, the dockhead. The iron is just about reaching the dockhead now. She'll be able to speed up. Only allowed to do six knots in port. <coughs> Oi there, Golden Wilson. Many thanks for the kind donation, shipmate. All donations greatly appreciated. Good Wilson says, Many thanks again, Captain. Enjoy your commentary on Saturdays. Oh, glad you do, shipmates. Glad uh, somebody appreciates me whittling on for hours and hours, amusing myself with gin palaces stuck on swing moorings.
gearing up slightly on the Solids, less pleasure craft around than before. I think we may have the hamburgers is departing on cow's cam. Sorry, the Hamburg. There she is. She's now appearing from the left. So she was there all the time, just hiding. There she is. So that uh, looks like another pilot boat down there. It's so probably just dropped the pilot off because she was on anchor, so she wasn't moored up. I don't quite know what the passengers on board do. I don't know if they come in or out or if it's just a day stop. They might go over to Cows. Seems like an odd destination, Cows, to go to on a cruise ship, but you know, I guess novel. So yeah, it looks like she's pulled up her anchors. Just about to float off. Now that's Hamburg in Cows. We've got the Ventura heading down south into water. There's still quite a few yachts out there, probably just finishing up. I'm sure they've had a great day on the water. And then of course we've got Iona disappearing behind the grain towers at the end there. Destination for cruise ship Hamburg is unknown, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure where she's going. Um, if only there was some way to find out. It makes me wonder if I could, wonder if I could be clever and use some technology. That'd be outrageous, wouldn't it? She is on her way too. Don't know. Falmouth, I think, perhaps. She might be on her way down the coast. She came from Antwerp in Belgium. I'm guessing it's just sort of regional cruises. Looks like the, isn't the anchor still down. Oh, yeah, the anchor's coming up. I think the anchor's still down. Let's have a look. See if we can zoom in on that a bit more. Yes, the anchor's just coming up there. See, it's uh, not quite fully in yet. I don't really think you should be moving around with your anchor hanging out like that. Seems like bad practice to me. Hmm. It's stopped, isn't it? The anchor stopped. Look at the sun, though. The sun on the side. You can barely see the yellow stripe on the Go Faster stripe on Hamburg because of all the yellow from the sun. It's amazing. We still have Iona just passing all the multi-story car parks of minis on the dock head. And then we've got uh, Ventura heading down Southampton Water, making lots of black smoke. She must have picked up a bit of speed again. And then we've got the cruise ship Hamburg just pulling, an pulling up anchor from the Cowles Anchorage. But she just seems to be leaving her anchor flopping around. Pretty sure that's bad practice. Anyway, let's have a quick look, quick look in the chat again. I've not been in the chat for a while. Oi there, Steppies. The hamburgers will be good. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about food again. That always happens on this channel. People start talking about food in the chat. Makes me, makes me hungry. Hamburg is off. On uh, she, also, she is off to Falmouth. Excellent. It's a British Isles cruise, nonetheless. And down to Falmouth, St. Mary's Island, St. Peterport, St. Marlow, St. Helier, St. Anne, and Hamburg, Germany. Obviously, only going to places that are Saint based, apart from Falmouth, which sounds foul. Is that anchor stuck? It's not moving, is it? Or is it moving really slowly? Or do you think they're manually pulling in? It's got so far and it's broken, and the shipmates are winding in by hand. Oh, yes. Well, dare I suggest that's not the way to continue to Falmouth, go to, to go to Falmouth with your anchor hanging out. We should see. Uh, I think we'll see the cruise ship Hamburg on one of the other cameras later as well. Although it should be quite small compared to what we normally see coming and going. The 
bit of interesting drama going here on the channel. sure that anchor should not be swinging from the front as a pigeon wait pigeon buzz off keep an eye on that she's gonna go behind the bush so let's carry on i just good timing there just as i is popping out behind the multi-story mini car park boy there steffi says that hamburg's very nice good ship i agree she's not a good ship very classic looking very in a very uh Minimalist, but uh, probably very enjoyable. Certainly going to some excellent locations St. Helier, St. Marlow, St. Peterport. Going to go to the Channel Islands and to the north of France and Falmouth. Well, okay, can't. Not exactly perfect, but it's not bad at all. The piece wonders if she's having trouble with her anchor. I think she might be because that's washing the mud off. Yeah, they've got, uh, they've got hoses that do that, so I don't know. It's not moving very quickly. Still heading down the water for Ventura with the red jets and the red funnel either side. I own now in the proper parts of the water pick up speed. Yes, Steph P, the pigeon was messing up the camera focus, probably as well as messing up all sorts of other things, typical pigeons. We'll keep an eye out, because we might see Hamburg in the back, very close to the Isle of Wight in one of these frames. I can't, can never quite work out where we can see on Cow's Cow. I think it's more to the right. It's actually behind uh, parts of the refinery. It looks like she's picking up speed now, so perhaps Hamburg has sorted that out. Let's see if she's picked up her anchor. No, it's still dragging. It's a little bit higher now because I can see a bit more. I'm half wondering if they're just pulling in by hand slowly. It's definitely higher. I wonder if the last bit it's just six dozen F Filipinos pulling very hard on a big heavy metal chain. It's pulling with all their might. Well, it's good to catch a glimpse of cruise ship Hamburg. It would be nice for her to park somewhere we could see her more easily rather than parking around the corner. A little unsporting of her. Ah, it looks like the anchor's coming up now. Yeah, I'm obviously just had a bit of a problem. Unless that's just the how they get the final bit of the anchor up. There we go. Just takes a bit of time, maybe. Maybe they've got uh, three dozen Filipino deckhands now pulling hard. Made all the difference. Hey, anchors up. Maybe that's just the way it works on that ship. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this rather action-packed ship's TV this evening. She makes like her say a big thank you to all of the subscribers, but especially all of the members for the channel, PayPal donators, and Patreons. Without all your support, I certainly couldn't 
keep buying all these cameras and doing all these things and paying for things. That's all very much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage this evening. Hope that was interesting to see the Gin Palace. It's got his props caught around the moorings at the Netley Cliff Sailing Club. That was interesting. How often we see that. Uh, we've got a, sh a cruise ship departing from Cowles Anchorage. Not often we see that either. So there's a whole lot of things going on this evening. And it looks like she got her anchor stuck a bit as well. So that's fascinating. Not sure that I'll be doing anything else. Uh, tomorrow, I will be out on the water tomorrow. Ah, if I am out on the water tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'll try a live stream with a new camera I've got. It may or may not be successful, but I was game for trying something. Also, I think I may have found a solution to my sound issue when I'm out on the water. It's a bit windy, uh, but hopefully I've got a solution for that. So that'll be good. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I shall carry on following the ships. Um, till next time, shipmates. Yes, uh, Elizabeth G. Ship makes shipmate makes good good point. I've got to thank the spanners. Of course, I couldn't do this without the spanners' help. They are simply amazing. Now, farewell to Hamburg, and we just see this fantastic view. I like this one particularly, where we've got Ventura turning around Cowshot Spit and Iona heading down to meet her. Oh, I will sign off now. So, thank you all, and if you haven't subscribed, please do think about subscribing and hitting that like button. Thanks, shipmates. Until next time.
Yes, the Auto Prestige, very good evening. Auto Prestige, BTS. Yes, yeah, evening Dan, pilot board, um, 105, starboard side alongside, 5.4 max draft, no declared defects, 1515, plus me on board, and uh, out for Bremer Harlan. Auto Prestige, BTS, uh, will receive. Up the Bargate, passing the ocean dock, up for DP Weld. Uh, there'll be a second tug, most likely even shortly. And uh, looking ahead, the Nefeco Galaxy, away for number 4 SO2130. Over. All understood, thanks for that. 